Welcome to Starfinder, The Fragments of Eternity, session 37. It is the 3rd of December 2019. I am Ryan, the GM. Here are the players. Hello. I'm Nico. I'm sick. I'm playing Zora. The vest cap. Good Greetings. Bitch. I am ahead of you this time! No. For I have changed That's my it. name once more! <laughs> <laughs> no. No, he's not. <laughs> it's still Alex. My update has not gone through to him yet. Damn it, he's changed yep. back. Oh, fuck he off. As maybe oh, server plague. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> I got there. How am I supposed you. to know if this doesn't even show? If you go and check my profile, you'll see the updated <laughs> version, hopefully. Fine, if you check my profile. I yeah, have yeah. your profile and I, and I believe you. Yep, see? So I came first. <laughs> anyway. Always a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> Means I get to go to bed earlier. This uh, is true. Oof. Hi. Now that we've settled that dispute Oddly. with my petty naming, uh, I'm Alex, and I play Nix Five, the Android mechanic, the unusurped. Yes. Wasn't that worth it? <laughs> First thing I did when I signed on. Amazing. Hi guys. I'm Colin. I hope you're playing Lyco. Lyco Quinn. Sneaky, spooky, all together. Uh, kind of like a hardboard detective. Hmm? I think we're going to be a family. And you're a I would never be human. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hi. I'm Callum. I am also sick. I'll be I saying. Think. Zig. The, the <laughs> The spa I was going to say the space captain. I am not a captain. Uh, the the ma mystical space rat from space. It's bad. Um, I know I mentioned usurping, right? But like, <laughs> <laughs> just the mystical space captain. Sorry, Zora. Mutant. <laughs> 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 I am Zig, and I am the new captain. There is no usurping or me surping. Only us surping. Me <laughs> surping. <laughs> You get it? Because it would be funny if I then come round to see you surfing again, but I didn't, so it was stupid. What about <laughs> I surfing? So, no, that's worse. <laughs> Surreptitiously speaking, let's get started, shall we? So, goals. Goals, as we have discussed off camera in an attempt at efficiency that was totally ruined by the uh, intro. Um, Zora! Our personalities. So, that too. <laughs> That is the general issue with this this show. <laughs> <laughs> Sora, tell me your goal. Skip the vault with the whole crew that is currently within the vault and alive. Post haste. It was such an exclamation on escape. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next five. Find myself a fancy dinner mm -hmm. and reclaim Escape's corpse. Mm -hmm. The two are not necessarily connected. Mm -hmm. Try not to confuse them. <laughs> Michael? My girl is uh, flowing beautifully from the particle uh, like the locks of a mighty stallion. I don't, I don't fucking know. Right. It's also so, read the fact that we don't have a particle at the moment either, so yeah. I mean, we do, really, let's be honest. Green <laughs> uh, means to kill Hamani, so I have uh, <laughs> come to the conclusion, based on our inability to kill one of his fucking henchmen, that we might need a bit of an edge where we to try and take down Hamani. Uh, my goal is uh, get that edge. No fire weapons. You've already got a knife. Maybe not fire weapons. There we go. <laughs> I mean, look, see, there's edge, and you know, there's edge, and uh, I don't mean edge. Maybe a lateral edge. edge. You know, like crawling in my, skin, you know. Or like wrestlers or people from U2. Yeah, yeah or just the Raider various. Superstar or <laughs> one half of the or one third story of the original Internet Brood. Explorers revamp, yeah. True. Good yeah. suggestion. Uh, yeah, no, okay, so find means to kill Hamani is what he's trying to say. And Zig. I feel like I said that extremely well. Mm -hmm. Zig wants to discover what his connection with this vault is. Seeing as he's in a vault, yes. it seems, seems, you know... Mm -hmm. Counterproductive to not do that. Yeah, but that's a nice segue into what do you remember from last time? Fucking hell! Oh, I remember getting the bully beat down by uh, the bully. We got sat on so hard. <laughs> All twenty was a dick to us. 
It really Wedged yeah. the hell out of me. Uh, but absolutely dick swabbed. I remember being very angry about the fact that I don't do damage when I shoot covering fire. Like, covering fire, right, should at least have the potential to do damage. Listen, yeah, like an AoE or something? Paizo, yeah. being shot at, it, it can hurt, right? Potentially can hurt. Even if I'm not shooting with the intention of hurting, it could hurt. 13th Age would have let you do your leveling damage to them, and we know that. 13th Age would have given <laughs> me a slap in the back and pulled me well done. Like the GW <coughs> being like, good spirit, son. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, what else happened last time? We failed. <laughs> <laughs> it was our last yeah, best hope, it. and it failed. Uh, unfortunately, got <laughs> rep. Um, mm -hmm. A dragon thing didn't get rep. Yeah. Uh, Hamani ate had... the darkness. <laughs> New one. <laughs> so it actually did <laughs> <laughs> I forgot if we beat the darkness. Yeah, we like, oh, calling and saying weird shit for no reason again. Never. Well, I disappoint you, audience. Genuinely at the darkness, the audience. That <laughs> 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 uh, is ridiculous, but also, yeah. It happened, I guess. Hey, down talk is a wee bit. I actually can't remember exactly what he said. It was mostly like, ah oh, ha ha, you stupid mortals, I am a dragon, goodbye. Uh, <laughs> it wasn't quite that, but yeah, that was. I think that was his tone. I think that was the vibe. Yeah. Uh, it was more just a case of, please just get out of my way. Really, right? Without the please. So. So what I said, basically. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, escapes a wee bit deep. Yeah. And, yeah, that's about it. That's about what happened last session. Um, we got the bill of beat done. Amani ate the darkness. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Says K, thanks, bye. Mm -hmm. And, uh,. No, the end times are... Much like Coca-Cola would have you believe, holidays are coming. Uh, other soft drinks are available. So, other Santa serve. So, I guess with that, we can comfortably say we're left in the vault. And let us go back there, to that wonderful place. Called Boltness. I don't want to go back. And then hopefully my second browser will load the whole thing properly. Which would be great. Oh, hold on, what's going on here? Uh. Oh, where are we? I need to focus on you guys. Ah, uh, we're getting there. Dun 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 dun. Uh -huh. <coughs> oh, sorry. Ah, wow, loud. Welcome. I'm sorry, I, I'm going to need to try and catch out on it. I'm dying. Yeah, people are sick, that happens. I'm trying to rest my throat as much as I can as well. The joys of the sore throat gang. It's the time of year. Yeah. I'm also not entirely 100%, but actually pretty good. Right, so hopefully everybody can see where they are. Ideally. Hi. Hello. Right. So he's there. Myself, but I only see darkness. Oh no, I found myself. So yeah, he's in, in the vault. You're in the vault. Yeah. The vault is not in us. I think there's just that kind of, kind of looming darkness that descends back over the place. Um, for you guys. You still have various degrees of vision, right? For the dark? Pretty much, yeah! Uh, <laughs> yep. Yes. Yeah... <clears throat> dim light. Oh, no, wait, actually, I've got IR. Uh, I've got IR sense. Uh, I can see the dark. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so in theory this shouldn't affect anyone, right? So, let's find out. Everybody can still see? Sure. You are? Stop! <laughs> nope. Right, you can't. Well, I can see myself, but I can't see the surroundings. Alright, let me go work out where that is, because you should be able to see. 
So, what is it you've got now, an IR thing? What's the stats? Uh, for, uh, let me see what that just says. It's got me bastard. It. Oops! Does that actually have a description, or is that just... Yeah, that worked. Let me know. That lets me know. That's a description. Right, so you need... <coughs> Strangely, I have this yet, so... It's done. Hey, there we go. You've been adjusted. Good. Uh, right. So yeah, as he leaves, the place seems to just darken. So yeah, what do you do? You are in the dark. <coughs> uh, see quite well. Hmm. <laughs> um. Good question. Uh. I kind of want to go into that room. The room with the brain. Yeah, or the tech. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> Go is that, like, is this a wall here, or is this, was this walkable to do? Because we watched it happen, so this must yeah, be... Yeah, that is open, that is like a door. That's like, um, there's like two tiers of doors. Mm -hmm, yeah. And I see nothing. <laughs> no, it is literally just a big circular, kind of, you know, I don't want to call it an egg chamber. But, but you've implied it's a wee bit of an egg chamber. It's a bit yeah. of an egg chamber, yeah. Yeah. Again, keep in mind this entire place has got that weird, hot, sweaty, humid, glistening. Oh, yes. Oh. Yeah. <sighs> Probably does support me too much, but that's upsetting. Uh... Yeah, indeed, right. Um, <laughs> these are also like not specifically in combat or anything, right? So he's can do whatever recovery nonsense you need to do and get rid of these. I will indeed spend a resolve to do a short rest or whatever the hell it is. But I'm I absolutely think fine. Thing, I think that's a thing, isn't it? Let's spend a resolve for a short rest. Yep. You spend 10 minutes and spend yeah. a resolve point and then you get your stamina so back. I guess what I'm going to do is my character would probably just like frustratedly like kick the wall because he just got his ass kicked and then he's just got to go like sit against a wall for like 10 minutes can, yeah you, you kick into it and it's like, like your foot sinks ever so slightly into the wall lovely okay. is it moist would you describe the wall as moist yes I would it is indeed but yeah you can spend one resolve point to regain lost stamina points up to your normal maximum using this ability requires 10 minutes of uninterrupted rest if you're interested part way through uh, you neither get any stamina nor lose the resolve point, which is actually really nice. Yeah, um, that is nice. Enough, oh, that is nice. Enough. You must take. I know how short term the system's nice. Wow. Um, you must take 10 consecutive minutes of uninterrupted rest to use this ability and cannot simply rest in intervals that oh, total 10 minutes. So, these can get stamina back if you are willing to resort, like spend those resolve points. Yeah. I'm willing. <laughs> I am willing. <laughs> um. I feel like I need to. Absolutely. <laughs> or I could use those 10 minutes to heal someone. Mm -hmm. You could do. So what is everyone's health like? Uh, uh, well, I'm... let's have that as a non-meta conversation, shall we? Why don't you discuss okay. that? Like, maybe you tell me. Like, maybe you all decide, I'm just going to move every day into this room, right? Not for any reason other than just you are using it as potential your quote and your cover. Um, yeah. Why don't you have that? We just had our asses handed to his conversation, right? So, Lyco, do you maybe start that by saying the in-game version of that? Um, I don't know. I'm looking pretty good, all told. <laughs> yeah, but like Zora and Zig probably are yeah. not. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably heavy breathing quite a lot of pain. <laughs> parts of Zig are probably missing due to that giant fucking dragon glaive. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Uh, yeah. Zig's definitely sitting down. <laughs> Just clutching. I will... <coughs> um... Excuse me. No, it's good. It's, it's adding to the character. I tell you what, I'll... Uh, <laughs> I will reload my sniper rifle. <laughs> And, uh, <laughs> Instead of showing concern for the party, I'll reload the sniper rifle. It's how yeah, I show concern. I, know, I can do that. 
<laughs> concernedly. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh... So... I think we better scope this place out. The light hits off the scope, just to... Uh, the tiniest bit. And I, uh... I think it probably ought to be myself that does that. <laughs> like, clutch my sides and be like, I think that's probably for the best. I'll come. <laughs> you sit down, Zig. I'll go. It's good up you right now. Honestly, but... it's perfect immersion. Yeah, it's impressive stuff. Yeah, you, uh... You, you heal up, kids. Do your... Do your... Whatever the hell it is you do. Um... I, yeah, me and me and Nick's here are looking pretty good shape, so we'll take the scout duties. Um, well, do me a favor then, right, for the two of you, uh, even though I see Nick's on the wonder. Roll <laughs> initiative, both of you. Click on your Roll tokens. Roll initiative. Yep. Uh, because I want you to move your movements only allowable. Um, oh yeah. Yeah. Obviously, you can use whatever you could do on the turn, so I don't mind if you like absolutely run down a corridor, but that means everything that means <laughs> means you have no actions if you did so. Mm -hmm. um, let me bring up the turn order. Cool. Right. Do I have to arrange that? That's very good. Uh, yeah, and let's just go wander. Okay. I can go to there. And we'll, um, and we'll do it, like as I said, individually soon. Michael, you go wandering first for me. I am going to go up and see what the hell's in here. Nothing. Yeah, just, okay. like, just like a weird dead end. I it, will use uh, it looks, my ability to... It looks like... um, It's not like a, like a perfect wall. Again, it's as if there's like a muscle membrane that's... Situated between two other pieces of like muscle. Oh, oh, okay. Um, hmm. Trying to think of any uh, good ways to try and cause that to react. Uh, can I make a roll for perception to see if I can see anything to trigger it? I... Or is it just like a definite no? So, roll perception and life science. Okay, perception and life size. Yeah. Right, so you you don't see anything that would specifically like trigger or stimulate it, but you do think if you did whatever it is would either move back the way or towards you down what looks like a tract. As if you seem to okay, so it's not a door; it's more like a blockage. Yeah, or something that perhaps is the door, right? Because I mean, you came in here, right, which is an open. Yeah, and the door is withdrawn rather. I Essentially, suppose, yeah. so if you tr if you stimulated it, maybe that would slam you all the way into whatever the other thing is, maybe, and smoosh you. Okay, um, like a muscle hug. A moist uh, muscle hug. I can use my standard action to walk as well, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think I it's actually back. more than that, but yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we can run ridiculous amounts, but yeah. I will go back for the moment and uh, and announce. Uh, looks like the door's in tracks, so. I don't know, might open something on the other side if we close this side, but that's about the most I can think. And my turn shall be over. Okay, yeah. And then, next. Um, so we came from down here. Huh? Uh, no. Yeah. Did you? Uh, you did, sorry, you did. Yeah. You came from that way. Ah, shit, I've uh, off so screen. you can like rustle like that if memory serves. Yeah, and it does because I clicked the route you took. Shh. 
try the other way. That would make sense to me. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I see your logic, Michael. Finally. Yeah. So move down to it. Oop. I think we'll probably if we can find another of the same, but it's fine. Much to a muchness, is it? Yeah, exactly. Same idea. And the walls are still looking weird and... Yeah, the whole place seems weird and hot and sweaty and... My thinking is something over there could move as this is filled in. Because presumably, they are, you know, here and here, meeting here, so that when they met here, they would no longer be meeting here. Maybe. Can give the uh, the wall a bit of a kick and just see how it's. Yeah, roll, kick. Roll yes. kick. What is kick? I don't know. It sounds like an attack, doesn't it? That's some sort of unarmed attack. Yeah, sounds exactly like that. The, I pressed the button. Where is it gone? Hmm. Is it under the poison rules? <laughs> I hate it. Has it's, just it's just never going to be not funny. Let me close down the counter sheet and try again. Wow. <laughs> You've been disabled. Let us kick. Kick. That didn't do anything. Well, wow. the unarmed strike rules are an unarmed strike can be dealt with any limb or appendage. An unarmed strike deals non lethal damage, and the damage from an unarmed strike is considered weapon damage for the purposes of the effect that give you bonuses to weapon damage rules. Doesn't tell you how to do it though. So my pistol's working, but my unarmed attack isn't. Oh, I done. Uh. Can you maybe just not do it, apparently? <laughs> yep, I have no arms. Roll a d20, that would be the easiest I have no this. arms and cannot scream. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. D20, Catches. add strength. Oh, there's my arm sack. There we go, that's better. It worked. There you go. Um, yeah. So, you, in your ridiculous power armor, boot into yep. the... Uh, you know, which is pretty much un untouched, quite frankly, your armor from last fight. It's beautiful. Yeah, you put into the uh, the wall, and like your foot sinks into it. But does the wall respond anyway? Your foot is in it. It is slowly I mean, like settling around your foot, but not doing anything else weird. Just hugging your foot. How far, through is, how far through is my foot gone? Like, up to the heel? I pull my foot back out. Cool. Roll whatever the athletics thing is. Uh, athletics. Cool. Ten. Uh, you do not. Uh. Yeah. This bad. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. You don't know yet. Mm -hmm. I rolled Save the wrong the uh, No, no, I got this. <laughs> Can I shoot around my foot with my pistol? Um, next turn. Yeah. Yes. I know what I'm doing. I mean, you can always call Lyco and let him know your situation if you want to. Check. Or even just shout, probably, because he's like, in a bad mood. Away. Yeah, no, it's understandable. He's not in a communicative mood. That's fine. Um, Lyco, <laughs> you want to go another wonder? or? You know what? I'm probably a little distracted and probably would just leave him to it for a minute. Mm -hmm. um, what way did you say we come up again? Was it south? Uh, no, so... From you... Weast. Weast. 
You like kind of went uh -huh, in right, that in so reverse. Excuse. Okay. The vault is meant to be confusing, so if anything, I'm pleased. I will thus and so uh, try quick. Boop. 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 Sorry, move. Okay. Ah! It was there, maybe? So there's nothing down there either. I would have seen that by. Mm, you know what? I decided to walk down there, so I will walk down there. Also, I can see through a crack into the next room. Here. Can you? Uh, do I see anything interesting at the end of this hallway? Let me see what, what you see. Ah, you do see a crack. Interesting. Um, yeah. That's actually into the place where Nix is. Um, oh, Chris, yeah, so, uh, yeah, he's right here. Let me. Um, I'm booping on you next. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Please don't boop each other. Did that fix it? Boop. Boop. No. It did not. The secret. The, the, the secret. The secret slit remains the. Oh fuck! That fixed it. That fixed. Cool. It. Oh my god, that's so bizarre. The secret slit remains unslotted. Something like that. I don't. I don't <laughs> know what I was trying to say. As, as the secret slit remains visible, I think. But then it. it, it, yeah. it went bad. I'm gonna go over here. Okay. Boop. And uh, end my turn. Okay. <laughs> Next, what are we trying? Gonna shoot. Okay. Nice. Shoot the wall. Just around my foot. Okay. I will make it a foot attack. <laughs> I like that. No, the, I the, like the angriness of a. And yeah. Yes. Yes, I will actually. Yes. Yeah. I mean, you hit. That's odd rolls. Um. Um. Yeah. So the note at the bottom: this pistol only damages living targets. Like it's anti-organic. Yeah, that's a. Uh, it's specifically the type of a. Uh, damage we're doing as well. Can you roll a deck save for me? Or, organic? or a fortitude save? Uh, so it's a reflex or a fortitude save. Yeah. You can take your pick and I'll describe. Um, and this is more like instinctual, so I don't want to tell you why you're doing them yet, if that makes sense. I just want to think would you try and react by dodging or would you try and react by powering through? Um, uh. Given that you're in heavy armour. How does that affect anything, etc.? I don't think Nix is used to the heavy armor yet. Okay, so would it so try like and be like a dex? Uh, uh, by that I mean reflex. Yeah, I think he'd try and pivot out of it. Cool. Next question. Oh. Right. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. We can still use it if we have to. Next question. Dodging left or right instinctually? Uh, left. Okay, cool. Mostly because I'm picturing him having kicked with his right foot. Okay. So he's sort of uh, just twisting over his left. Look to the yeah. right. So. so he's just falling left. Yeah. Let me find the thing I need to. I need to find now. Right, I need you to take. 4d6. Damage. So I'll roll that, or you can roll it. It's up to you. Do you want to roll 4d6? I want to roll 4d6, yeah. Yeah. 40. Boom, 14. Cool. That is um, from. What type of damage? Uh, being smashed by strong force. Ah. So, like a big bludgeoning. Bludgeoning. Yeah. Cool. Um, yep. So you get kind of smashed, thump, 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 thump in there and kind of squished in there as the big membrane type muscle slams shut in response to your um, weird sonic pistol attacks. So like when the gang, these are now cut off from each other. Oh. Let me Yet I still see them! Yeah, it's because I've not drew the, I know. the membrane. Just going to do it as a 
to have it. A simple, a simplicity thing here. There we go. That should have blocked enough of it. So yeah. Alright, I'll see if I can just... Did that work? It should have worked. Has that blocked sight into there? No? Yeah, yeah. yeah just well, part of it, like, high, so. the first, like, four tiles or something like that. Not even that, like, the first, like, That's say, strange. four feet into the room are somehow visible still. Strange. Strange gay, indeed. Strange. That's okay. I was like, wait, why can't I see that? Is it because my account has views from all of you? That's why that doesn't make sense. Cool. <laughs> There we go. It does make sense now because I was looking at the the one I'm recording, and I can see from each character's perspective. So there's nothing cut off if that makes sense. Um, because it's seen the folk in the room. And I'm like, why hasn't it yeah. blocked division from both? Because they have vision on both parties. Okay. <coughs> um, but yeah, you basically slam the door shut. Big horrible biological Good doors. Good news, Captain. I found the door shut button. <laughs> I said, hold it up with my pistol. Perhaps find the door open button next. <laughs> Just, no. Yeah. I don't have a movement, I did the full attack. Yeah. Cool. Um, before we move on to Lyco, um, what is Zorin Zig up to? Um, Resting the fuck up. <laughs> Yeah, he probably is, like, mostly just grunting to himself because he's just thinking that he got his ass kicked. Like, that, that is the sense. You probably just hear him just, like, snorting and grunting and making, like, really awful noises at times. Yeah. I think I think Zig knows better than to interrupt the captain's moodiness. Just, you know, that way, like, when a Wayne just gets in, they're just like, ah! ah, ah. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Um, are you doing any actual actions? For example, is your armor still on you? My armor's still on me. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> it, that's not getting taken off. Uh... <laughs> I feel like there's a better pip for that as well. I do feel like there is a better one. Was it this one we were using before? I think. Yeah, I think it was. I took the wrong pip off you though, but that's fine. I'm going to take the purple thing off. And leave the boat. There we go. Um, what about Zig? What actions are you doing? Um, he's he's just he's just chilling out. He's resting up. He's like not even thinking about anything. Oh, so you're spending the resolve point, sorry? I'm spending a oh, resolve sorry. point. Yes. Like, ah, uh, um, yeah. I was just waiting for it to resolve. I guess. <laughs> <Yeah>. with... <laughs> no, that's fine. Like, you'll be able to get the ten minutes. Um, while cool. Like, cool. I mean, I'll pay the toll. Yes, I mean, quite I'll frankly, like, next five has helped uh, guarantee you'll get the ten minutes, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, it's a full stamina heal, isn't it? Basically, just full back stamina. I mean, seems to be. Yeah. It's, it's, kind of gen it's really generous, isn't it? It's actually it like really generous. Yeah, but it is like your ability to stay alive and fight still, right? I don't mean the stamina, yeah. but your resolve points still. They are, mm. yeah. yeah they and are. they made the healing were harsh. Mm -hmm. yeah, like yeah, I mean, that's the main thing is there's actually... There's, I don't even know if there is like a proper dedicated healing class in this game. I don't really Zig think is there it. is. I am it. Zig is it. <laughs> it is the mystic. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Yep. And what did I do instead of healing people? <laughs> Run around. Mind surge. Oh, well, mind mind, mind, mind thrust and getting thrust. attacked mind by thrusting. attacks of opportunity. Yep. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Makes sense. Scampering rat. Looks <laughs> good. Uh, but, uh, right, you. Um, I mean, same for you, Nick, really. You could probably take 10 minutes in there if you wanted to use your uh, recover resolve or recover stamina, sorry. Uh, if you cared enough about it. Um, but, if you aren't doing anything in the room specifically, then Lyco, we're on you, buddy. Indeed. Uh, so I suppose probably I will look at the uh, closed door. 
and uh, sigh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that that more or less figures. Yeah. Uh, I will calm the captain. Cool. You cannot get a signal to them. Oh. I look at the comm, or whatever unit I've used, and just, uh, sigh! Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Yep. It's, uh, that kind of day, or whatever solar cycle they have, whatever the hell this is. <laughs> um, it's a very good set of questions, isn't it? I am going to head south since we came from the north. Why am I thinking that? Don't know. Don't know, mate. Find something. Right, go slow enough so that I can move the actual very slow browser map um, to Oop. follow you. Uh, Oop. Oop. Boop. Further boop. And yet one more boop. Okay. Oh shit, I've lost myself again. Sorry, there we go. Now. That looks like it's circling back in. So I'm curious about that. So I think I'm going to head up this way. Let's see what's at the back of the, the thing. Mm -hmm. Just in case my idea that it might open up from behind stands out. Oh ho 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 ho! The door does open! Maybe. Um. What am I supposed to be able to see here? Mm hmm. Oh. I just wondered if it cracked him. Um. I will then go through. This place is confusing. <laughs> I will go far enough this way to see if what I'm expecting. In fact, there. Yep. And then, uh, every time I click on him, it's double clicking, so I'm constantly having to X out of that box. Drip his mouse. <laughs> yep. Honestly, sometimes it doesn't do it, and other times it just does it relentlessly. Right, hold up to adjust the map to keep, Aha! keep up with you. I see clues! Can Down I, the stairs. Let's stop local. your movement there then, shall we, and we'll switch okay. to the, the other gang, because that's quite a nice dramatic pause there. Um, right. Egg chamber, people. <laughs> egg chamber. Egg chamber dot egg chamber. Yeah. So I need a map butler, honestly. See somebody that can just keep the focus on the action so I don't have to work two browsers. So if anyone wants to apply to be my map butler, um, please just tell me directly. Don't like and subscribe or any that nonsense. Just tell me directly, please. Then also then like and subscribe. <laughs> uh, right, what's your plan? Egg chamber people. Right, you've recovered your stamina. You've caught your breath. Okay. Cool. Just let it like a deep breath. Start up. <laughs> like, dramatically look. How's <laughs> 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 everybody holding up? I'm alright, Captain. You've been back, eh, Captain? I would sigh. So tell me about it. <laughs> So we just got what arse he's kicked. Any ideas how we get out of here? Hmm. I could try shooting it again. I would look and shrug. <laughs> like, I've got no other ideas. <laughs> You've got the biggest gun. <laughs> and it is just like a creepy fl big fleshy wall that's closed in on itself. What's this thing in the middle of the room? Eh, just, again, weird biomechanical well, floor. Yeah. yeah, and that one seemed, that like, almost seems more like soft, squishy, nesty material. Mm -hmm. Like where the eggs sat. Okay. Just 
Do you want me to try shooting in the same place, or should we try a different entryway? How about we both try to shoot it? <laughs> Certainly. Thing's gonna move. Stand over. Bigger shot. That's bravery, Zig. Shooting time? Yeah, give it a go. <laughs> yeah. One of them's good. Mm -hmm. yeah. But it does minimum damage. Yeah, the thing, the wall itself, like, visibly, like, shudders and reacts, but it doesn't move. But it definitely does doesn't react. Move. Lag of a shit? You can try. I don't see why that would be different. You're right. But, hey, well, let's get a shot, shall we? Uh, boom, boom. That's <laughs> not we're good, we're good at this. <laughs> not very good at this. Uh, yeah, I just so realised my combat track is slow. So, the first one is not good at all, let's face it. Um, I don't know why, but let's just say that his bad sonic blast at your ear throws off your laser fire first shot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sure. Nicely, nicely mirroring. Um, it's my wounds, right? <coughs> but it does let you know you're a living target, so that's good. And um, you've also got your little booty on your token as well. Um, Oops. Your other shot. Yeah, booty myself. Your other shot doesn't seem to have done anything to the wall. Okay, right, so probably fire I mean, fucking was as per usual. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh, I need to get ready to fire this fire weapon. Um, I need something that's maybe not fire. Be good. Yeah, but it'd be a pretty shit vault if just shooting it with a laser pistol worked, right? You're right. You're right. Uh, do I get rid of this glowy man icon as well? It's your armor. But, uh, are we in combat? <laughs> ah, we're not in combat anymore, so I wouldn't have my armor. Yeah. What's the plan, guys? Uh, hmm, okay. I love that uh, nobody tries to calm Lyco. That I enjoy. Yeah. Uh, it's a good idea. I will calm I mean, Lyco. really, this is quite an insult. I've taken <laughs> it really. I mean, Lyco is still himself. Really, the boy. Crying right now. Finds a new You're partner. Still solo boy. Yeah, I am. I'm an edgy loner. Wait. Lone edge. I'm a call him. This guy is a lone edge. I will try and beat Lyco, I suppose. Like, I'm actually probably as unloose cannon as this character could be. Yeah, you're, you're quite strapped down cannon, quite frankly. I'm a, I'm a firmly secured cannon. <laughs> Writing the book to throw at you. Right. I guess I will come, Lyco. <laughs> or I will attempt to. You get the same unresolved signal problem Lyco got. These things even useful. What do we even have these things for? Can I touch? The I think it's the torch, Captain. <laughs> I would, I would actually snigger at that. <laughs> Take inspiration, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, it's not useful in this game, but you know, any D and D game you're in with may just start with inspiration for that. That's yes. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> Brilliant. I enjoyed that the reference. Oh. Good old session two, everybody. <laughs> so good. If you are watching this now and don't understand that reference, how dare you? Go watch session two. You jumped in at the wrong point. Mm -hmm. It's where the good stuff happens. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Chewie. So that's what I was aiming for. Right. <laughs> What's the next plan? BRB too sick. So you. Uh, right. What was Zig trying to say? Sorry, Zig was trying oh, to say. Oh, sorry. No. Uh, can I? Can I just touch it? Literally. Just like reach out my hand and kind of touch it. Yeah, it's got a weird warmish kind of moist vibe. Ew. Yeah. <laughs> Can you make a will save? Ah, I knew it. I didn't know that at all, <laughs> actually. That's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> will. <laughs> cool. Um. You're getting a very familial feeling. Oh, 
heck? Yeah, and it's just like <laughs> maybe as you go to like remove your hand, you're kind of hit with um again memories of you know you get that kind of welcome home feeling when you've been away and you come back to like your stuff, your familiarity, your own bed, like your family, yeah. or like people that live away from home that go back home for Christmas and they have the family vibe that isn't the Christmas holiday angst nonsense, but the actual mm-hmm. family vibe. Uh, you're getting that as if you're home. Oh. Just as you pull your hand off the wall. Not in like a oh. super overwhelming way, just now. Nah. Is that an all moment? Is, is I locked up in a vault for his childhood? <laughs> <laughs> a sweaty horrible yeah. bio vault, yeah. It didn't do him any harm, really. Every day. <laughs> <laughs> Um. Oh, dearie. Hmm. They could both be like warmed and concerned. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Do you share this with anyone else, or do you leave it as a strange, disconcerting vibe? Mm, I think. I think he'd. I think he would probably just say something like, "It's." So familiar. Hmm. Oh. You know, in that sort of like mystical like way where, you know. Ah, yes. You know, yes, Gandalf, I would. In a very mystical way. You know, where Gandalf's like, I have, an, I have no memory of this place. Um, Only yours is, I have memory. Of I have memory of this, this place. place, yes. Yeah. Uh, I also think Nico was being in character for you. That was all. Oh. Was. Um, it's unfortunate I, think... I had a good mystical joke as well, but yeah. <laughs> can't date <it> anymore. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just got to play awfully so I could do mysticism, even though like, every time he's tried, he's failed. <laughs> 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 yes, that mysticism thing, yes. yes. I, I think Sig would take a step back and kind of clutch at his um, little sun amulet yeah. thing and just clutch his pearls. Mm hmm. <laughs> And just kind of stare. Um, Warped his cockles and clutched his pearls. <laughs> <laughs> um, just kind of stare at the the, the door. Um, the the door. The door puzzles. Hi man. Oh. <laughs> don't d- don't become the new Gib, right? Who only ever complained about my door puzzles. I'm, I'm not. I'm not complaining. <laughs> I'm just not very good at all. <laughs> also, you can thank Alex for this one. <laughs> what? Yeah. What did I do? You, well, you kicked the wall. You made a door puzzle. You shot, you shot the wall. I, it seemed like the way to solve the problem. Yes. <laughs> I mean, it's usually the way to solve the problem. If the problem was unfettered access between the egg chamber and the surrounding vault, yes. <laughs> I mean, is, it even, is there even any point in me trying to, like, just... Let's just man mode this, right? Because it's what they have other door, right? I'm going to try and just lift it. <laughs> I'm going to shoot this bit lift while he's lifting it. it. Lift it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's what through every door, right? Have we tried, have we tried just asking it. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah, that's a good idea. Can can I shoot it here? Uh, you can, but if you're basing it on map art, it just looks like the rest of the room. Okay, then I'm shooting it here. Okay, cool. <laughs> while, while the captain is trying to do something at the wall. Cool. So, yep, this is happening at the same time then. So, Zora, what are you doing? You're going up to the, the wall and trying to, like, open it since it was two things that came side to side? Yeah, I'll try and pry it open, you know, like, I'll just be Conan about it, like, right. fucking, like. Right. The best way to think of the door, right, is don't think of it like a Star Wars door that comes down the way. Think of it like, you know, like those bread bins that have the little shutter roller things, but on its side. Mm-hmm. It's like one right. of those where there's two little That's shutters good. that meet in the middle. Um, Gonzalez is just picturing a sphincter. Of course. Did you see it was a bed brain? Is it see through? It is not see through. No. Okay, there you go. Because the lights line the same. Yeah. What's annoying is I can't make windows with the dynamic lighting, um, which would be cool. You know, like a, if there was a certain colour that let you see through the line but not move through the line. Mm-hmm. Um, I want, like, roll 20 if you could do that. That would be, be great. handy. 
Um, yeah, get on that roll twenty. But yeah, so you walk up to the the kind of the seal of the membrane, like the the joint between the two of them. Um, and what are you going to try? Because I know what's going to happen at the same time, which is whatever Alex does to the the back wall. But uh, try and pry open, but it's not going to work, is it? Let's, <laughs> let's, find out. let's face it. Ac athletics prying of the door. Mm -hmm. Go for it. I'll even I will, I will even take <laughs> prying of the door. Stop trying to procrastinate. Just do it. Let's see what happens. Also, <laughs> <laughs> Nick's five. Do you want to give us your roll as well? Yes. <laughs> Terrible. Yeah. Just the worst. Yeah. Almost the absolute worst. Yeah, like you shoot. I rolled three gun, twos and a one. You shoot your gun, bang bang, um, and the weird sonic effect seems to resonate around the chamber. Um, you take the damage from it because it seems to parabolically go back to you. I I scream into the void. It goes parabolically back to you. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> you take existential damage. All <laughs> <laughs> oh, my damage is existential damage. <laughs> Same <laughs> TBH. Um, but yeah, so the weird kind of resonance of the place, like the entire thing shivers um, and shudders. Um, but yeah, um, Zora. Make yes. a reflex save, and I need you to decide if you manage to open the doors, would you leap through to the other side, or would you stay on this side? <laughs> uh, reflex. I will uh, just jump through to the other side. Cool. Give me a reflex <laughs> save. We'll see how well that went. Okay. Can you also take forty-six damage, please? Oh my god. You can roll it. Uh, okay, slash R for D6. Trying this new thing where I let you roll the damage on yourself so I don't feel bad. That's not bad. Um, and you get to the other side as the uh, thing slams shut. Well, shit. Yeah. Hmm. Great. Uh Invisible mechanisms at this side. <laughs> nope, just a weird membrane seal down the middle. Oh, fantastic. That's what I like to see. I will try and calm Lyco now. Cool. Lyco, your calm goes. Um, I go with it. Uh, <laughs> cool. Okay, uh, now obviously they've been making quite a lot of noise. Can I hear any of it? No. You never heard any, any of them? No, that. because of the hyperbolism. <laughs> 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 okay. That's fine, I would then not Takes, be too like, cautious. Takes, like, disinspiration? Because... <laughs> oh, Actually, tell you what to do, because this is probably a little time has now passed, so I'm probably sort of lurking back because I've spotted things afoot. So I will very quietly... Well, to be honest, no, like, the answer. time that, like, it's you, you've, like, you've literally got That's to that point. sort of been in the future. Yeah, okay. Like, uh, literally, as he gets hard. out, you've got to there, because you did a lot of wondering. Um... I would, uh, yeah, okay. In that case, I would then simply answer. Captain? Yeah. So I got through this door. Um. Okay, uh. Just you? Uh. Yeah. Okay, uh, <laughs> Do you know whereabouts you are? I, uh. I circled oh. round. I think I'm more or less behind the room. Yeah, I'm just on. I'm at the door at the moment. Have you. Found out any way we could maybe open this for this side? Uh, no, I've kind of been looking around, uh, hoping you guys would uh, solve that from within, but I've come across something, Keth, and I think we should investigate. Um, I obviously, out of character, I can see right now what appears to be a drow corpse. How well is Lyco seeing it? Because it's kind of like just behind a corner. It is in my vision, but there's like a wall feature there. I'm not 100% convinced Lyco has a perfect look, but Roll I'm sure he knows there's something there. Yeah. Because it is a decent distance away in the dark, so... 
Yeah, now you can make it out. Yeah, Quite yeah. Easily, yeah. Uh, I see. Um, I'm pretty certain there's a drow down by uh, this next corridor, and I think that might be an indication that we've got more company, or possibly that Amadi's still present. Uh, either way, I think we should investigate. Shall I, uh, shall I come and meet you, or do you want to try and... Perhaps, perhaps we meet here and get get the, the, the grip out first before we venture forward any further. If you could find something to, like, keep a door open, that would be great. Uh, like a mail bar or something, you know, like, uh, anything, a weapon, guns, pick up guns. I, you... Do you not have something suitable? I'll, I'll, I'll make my I'll, way back towards you. I'll, 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 I'll look. Around. I'll look around. Um, what, what's on these drow? Is there any like guns, like anything? Oh yeah, they were all armed. Sturdy. Okay. Yep. I've Captain, got why don't you use the drow corpses to wedge it open? So that's, that's kind of what I was planning on doing, but right. Yeah, I'm going to try and pry the door open again and wedge something in. You might not be able to do both. I know, that's a problem. Per I'll, I'll come. Uh, yeah. Perhaps I'll, I will need some help. <laughs> I'm very close by. Uh, bear with me. Does he just walk away around the top? Because <laughs> we never got to see that on the camera, sadly. Oh, hmm. well. Anyway, um, it was exciting. <laughs> It was really thing. Um, Could have been. Kevin, I uh. I thought you just called him Kevin there. Uh, all right, Kev. Uh, how you say? How you So, Kevin, I uh. I don't know if there's anything around here to open this door. I. But if you can pry it open again, we can. Shove enough of those corpses in the way to slow it down, at least, I think. That's my barrack. I'll... I'll... Nod. Uh, you're gonna need to do the shoving, though, because this thing's pretty... Pretty... stiff. <laughs> sure thing. Yeah. Uh... I don't mind, uh... I don't mind getting my hands a little dirty here. Uh... I sort of get poised, like, arms under, like, hands under the armpits of one of the dead drow. Right? Um, because I can't, like, drag it in l with its legs walking myself backwards or anything, so I've got to sh sort of lift up and shove. Um, so I'm p sort of poised, as if I'm about to help, like, a drunk friend back up or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah. All right. Prying of the door. Take two. <laughs> Hello, Professor. Mm -hmm. uh, athleticism. Please be good. Yeah. That's pretty good. I mean, yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's the best you can do. Um, yeah, you pry open the door. Um, Again, it's not the easiest thing to get like a grip of, um, so again, you're either going to sink forward or pull back. Um, what is your instinct this time? Is there a I think I, I'll try and sink forward while he pushes like bodies, a body in, like, if you know what I mean. Right, okay. Like, um, right, so he can like, kind of go away me. Give me a reflex save for you, and I need you to give me a reflex save for a different reason. Colin, okay. but also then body an athletics check to chuck a body okay. in. Okay, do you want me to do them in a particular order? After Laura's. 4d6 damage. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> okay, so. Any more rolling for Zara? Or no, me? Zara's good for now. You want my reflex first or my athletics? Uh, reflex, yes, and then athletics. Ah, reflex. Okay. Ooh, that's mm -hmm. pretty bad. And then athletics. 
Cool. That's, that's good. pretty alright. Uh, right, Zara, take your damage. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Ow. And I then, just healed this. <laughs> God oh. damn it. And then, and then, that's uh, a not good situation. So Zora like rips open this membrane and like just sloops inside for some bizarre reason. Which doesn't seem to be part of the plan was dive in between the slamming doors. Um and then you throw this body as fast as you can, not quite fast enough to the point where its head gets caught in it. Um oh. it slams shut. Um, the captain disappears from sight uh, into the room. Uh, I need to put you in there. Dump. And then dump that back outside. Um, but the body just pops. Um, so the corpse, minus a head, lies on the ground and then the membrane is kind of covered in dry blood. On both sides. Zig, you're probably, oh, sp you're probably sprayed with dry blood. I like uh, wipe off my face. No, I do mean Zig. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. What? Oh, yeah. I'm not covering through blood, just Zig. Uh, no, no, just yeah, Zig. I wipe off my face. <laughs> yeah. No, damn it. You just had a giant head pop on top of you. It'll pop all over you, essentially. Yeah. <laughs> oh, damn it, there goes that plan. Um. <laughs> um. It was a good plan. Ow. That's gross. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look for a button in the outside, <laughs> cause I haven't actually done that. If you find a button in the outside, I'm gonna like hit a wall. Do you want me to perception it? Uh, is there like a more intense version, like investigate, or is it just perception? Just perception, really. <laughs> then that's it. Yeah, go for it. Yep, nope, just this weird, again, weird muscle thing that looks softer than the surrounding muscle structure. Um, if everything's this weird, hot, sweaty mess of a muscle. Can I, um, I would like to, as a mind link with the door. Interesting. The door dies. <laughs> <laughs> comes an android. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I would like to. Zig would like to try that. Right. Okay. Um, does Zig want to roll uh, a wisdom save first, or uh, like you know, just or um, say, does Callum want to? I mean, or uh, well, can, can can I do both? <laughs> um, um, just uh, meaning purely on. based on what's happened every time you've done this. Um, yeah, I know. <laughs> It's been awful, isn't it? I mean, it's, it's bound to work one time, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, go for it. Mind link. Why not? Yas. We'll save. Let's just jump to it. I'll, I'll just jump to it. We'll. we'll. Boof. I don't know if that worked. My laptop's a bit. I don't fun. see it. Not yet, anyway. Yeah, let's try that again. Then. More like a wood save. <laughs> God. <laughs> Mostly, oh god. Um, <laughs> nope. So. I guess you can take the first one. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> uh, I will. I'll take the first one, full enough. I will. Um, ha! I know. Will you? <laughs> uh, Maybe he won't. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, Zora and. Next five. Yes. You. You see Zig collapse. That shit. As he's main linked with the door. Yeah. I don't know if there's a visible. You know, he touched the door once, he said, oh, that feels weird, and then touched it again after you guys have jumped in and out of the door, and has now collapsed. Uh, he's also visibly shaking and convulsing. I would go and <laughs> do the <laughs> usual. Do the usual, like, hold them down, you know, so they don't 
screw them themselves up. Thing seizure things. Um, okay. Nix, are you doing anything similar or? Slightly panicking. Uh, and then quickly trying to recall any medical training that would help. Cool. Uh, you recall any medical training that would help? What do you know of medical training? Um, I mean, my medicine score says a lot, but my Alex head says not a much. <laughs> um, so I will do whatever is the best thing to do when someone is having a seizure. So okay. I, like that. I will do the um, best thing that is that. Having a seizure. Don't try to hold them down or stop the movements. Okay, so I will not do that then. Yes, I quickly tell the captain not to do that. <laughs> and then I will not do that. <laughs> and to roll him onto his side. I will roll him on his side. <laughs> um, and he just keeps rolling. I would tend to put a cushion under the head because the chances of them smacking their head and splitting their head open is very low. Yes, I. I don't have any cushions in the cushions. towel armor. <laughs> I, I will put that. my hand <laughs> under your head as if I can. Lift them into <laughs> suplex position. <laughs> I will put my hand under your head as if I can. It's very cushiony. This advice <laughs> I found finishes with the statement don't put anything in their mouth. Okay. So, so don't warned. put anything in his mouth. Yeah. <laughs> um, right. So. Based on that horrible, horrible <laughs> description. Um, <laughs> right, so essentially, he's both rush over and try and assist Zig, was the gist of that. And there's lots of touching, and then Alec, or sorry, the next five, making sure that the captain doesn't touch where he's not supposed to, um, and various other things like that. And um, as you both run over, though, and make contact with Zig, can you both make well saves? Oh, Jesus. I'm sorry. No, no. I refuse. <laughs> <laughs> is this a mind affecting effect? Um, it's a mind affecting effect, yes. Then I'm on a 23. Okay, cool. <laughs> Zora is not. Um, is it versus fear? <laughs> <laughs> is it fear? It's versus the fear. Um, it's pretty scary. Yeah, so. Let me just. Uh, why, why is it always this way? Right. I'm sorry, Captain. <laughs> oh, I'm doing this wrong. That's fine. Oh, then I need to find out where I had these other people. What the funk a dunk? Oh, I know this. I know this a lot. Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I don't like it. No, no. Can I take that move back? No. Do, do we do we do take these take these back? These no. Right. So, I've moved those who should be moved. These all appear here. I also need to move the camera. I guess. Give me a second. It's graduation day. Uh, Woohoo! I remember Buffy season three. <laughs> Pembridge Farm remembers. I don't, but I've probably seen it. Big snake. Big snake. Principal snake. There's no, sorry, mere snake. Principal mere snake. Right. So. One of the best characters in Buffy, actually, mere. It's really good. Yeah, definitely. Um, After, often quite underrated. So, you guys in this place, right? These are there. You have this weird, almost dreamlike quality to the visuals that you're getting here. And in the space in the middle is just like a whole bunch of random, like monk like dressed students, varying races um, in this middle part. Uh, you also have a familiar Zig at the top end there. And yeah, he seems to be talking with the Radiant Supreme that you have met before. Uh, but also Zig is standing right next to you. Zig, what are you doing over there? It's... It's... it's, And then I think Zig would try and kind of run to the front. 
And yeah, there's that weird dreamlike quality where as you run it feels very you know, that's the word I'm looking for. Also does this work? And that pops up wet. That's there. I, she is there too. But ah. she's uh Head 014 is there. I just don't have a token for her for some bizarre reason. Even though I thought we definitely had a token for her. We definitely had a token for her. Um, strange. Uh, that kind of like running through like thick air. Yeah. Feeling. Yeah. And you're getting nowhere fast. Annoyingly. So yeah, where'd you go? Well, yeah. Trying to find her in my archive of little tokens. She's here somewhere. But it's probably um, a year ago's worth of info. Ah, uh, yeah, that's the point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So where'd you go, Zig? Um, I think he, he tries to get well as as close to as close to the egg as humanly possible, or as rat likely possible. Yeah, did you push through the crowd? Yeah. Cool. Yep. So you find it really difficult to get through. Um, mm -hmm. Can you give me a will save? Yar. Well. Oof. Yep. And you slowly like push your way through them. It's it feels more like kind of mental feedback, more than physical. Right, okay. Um, and you have to like push through. While you just see Zig wading through this group of people, what do you used to do? Try and follow him because probably getting himself into mischief. <laughs> yeah, that, that sounds like Zig, quite frankly. <laughs> also, like let's put your um, let's put that person back where they should be. There we go. There we go. Uh, Standing there in our nice golden robes. Golden robes. So yeah. Uh, so you guys wade into the room as well? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we bit further in. Cool. Can you both make will saves? No. Probably That's not. not. <laughs> <laughs> but let's be real. But, uh, right. <laughs> Yeah. Right, so there's no, a six. Yep. So you both try and get into the crowd, but you can't seem to move them. You now, like in a very stereotypical movie scene where somebody dodges through a crowd and then the other person just somehow, for some reason, just can't push people out the way, even though you, you've seen them like mm. kick through doors and throw cars around, but they can't get through just a group of people. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's that very TV show type thing or movie thing. Um, so you just get to this crowd and you just can't get through like the, the wall of students, as it were. Um, but Zig, yeah, you get to the other side. Sweet. Um, Zig's, Zig's plan here is to stop Zig from mind linking <laughs> with the, the red with Zig. Supreme. <clears throat> okay. That's, that's, what he's, that's what he's going for right now. Because, it, it, yeah. So his his goal is to tackle himself before Zig, you know, reaches out and mind links with the Radiant Supreme at that point. Assuming that this is pre that, i would never even bother checking. <laughs> yeah, well, it, it seems like you've went up to the podium anyway, that's for sure. Um, you don't seem to be in contact with the Radiant Supreme yet, so yeah. How do you impose yourself on your dream self? Um, I think Zig would run towards him, and if it's going to happen, if he thinks it's going to happen before it happens, before he gets there, even um, he's going to telekinetic projectile. Uh, well, I guess something that's on him. It's hard hat. At Zig. Okay. Can I do that for me? Um so I guess to like about this far for argument's sake. Um I guess I will just 
discard my uh, my hard hat to prevent myself from thingy. Oh, come on. Do, 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 do. I swear I clicked it. Come on. Um. Let's see. Where's the thing I want to do as well? I'm just gonna make like a token on here so we can actually see what's going on. Thank you. This is what happens when people split maps. Just Imposter. No oh, heck. Sorry. Oh gosh, Jelly. Oh, <laughs> oh god. Uh, okay, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh heck, oh god. Bad, I think that's a bad laptop. Standard. Sorry, this is what happens when I use my laptop. I do apologize. This so. is what happens. Does a 14 hit you? Oh, and you. <laughs> I totally forgot that I have my stats available to me. Yeah. Remember, um, they're the stats of that Zig, not you. Oh, that Zig. So, uh, hold on. Yeah. So, I'm fairly certain it might. Because it definitely doesn't hit now, Zig. <laughs> Quit. Uh, <laughs> bear with me, people. Please stand by. <laughs> beep boop. Beep boop. Beep boop. Beep boop. Beep boop. That Zig, I'm pretty sure, is like your armor. Like, get rid of your armor and just like plus one no. or so. Maybe get rid of like two uh, decks or so. Yeah, it's, um, well, it's 14, so. It does hit. Cool. So, what we see is you take your the hard hat off, you then, like channel your telekinetic powers into it, it fires straight through to Zig, and that kind of weird, like, psychic ripple as the, the hard hat vanishes through him. Um, and then it clunks off the egg, flies off to like the right as it smacks off the egg. You hear it hit the egg, and then the thing just like fades away, as if it's like out of the dream now. Huh. And then you can see Zig. Zig, like, looking down between, like, both feet really, really rapidly as if, what do I do, what do I do, what do I do, what do I do? And then you can see him about to lift his hand up towards the Radiant Supreme. Uh, as that's going on, though, a uh, fellow is with the crowd problem. Is there a plan? Gun. I'm not actually there, you're though. You're not there. <laughs> nah, you're just here to, so you can actually see what's going on. Can we skip around the edge? I'm there in spirit, but except yeah, not. You can walk around the edge if you want, yeah. Captain, uh, yeah. do the same. <laughs> I'll do the same. <laughs> it's probably a little bit more difficult for me, but I'll do the same. I mean, I'm in my massive power armor. Alright, cool. So, we're both big boys. So yep, making you look small. Um. Can... Hmm. What's going on, Zig? So you just kind of get there as he's like telekinetically projectile this. Um, as they're approaching, so you're maybe like one away each. Yeah. And um, no, you were good where you were. And then, um, yeah. What's the plan, Zig? Sure, go now. So you've got like them asking you stuff. But it depends on how much you're focused on what they're saying. It might just be weird muted audio. Um, I feel like it would be like you know, you know, when you're kind of like just underwater. Yeah. And um, uh, it's that kind of like. Um, I think I think the first thing he would just shout out like right before Zig touches the the radiant supreme, he'd be like no, <laughs> really loudly. Um, I was going to actually try that. In character, but my voice is not up to it, so I do apologize. Can um, it's fine. If, he sh if he shows no, it's like, can I try a wee something just for the sake of trying something yeah, for I mean, the very first time ever? Yeah, yeah, ever. Can I gravity hold the other Zig's hand? Would you think to do that though? I don't know, he shot a bolt at him and he's screaming no at him. I mean. But why would that make you think I need to stop this rat? 
because it doesn't look like he's, it, he's not like acting weirdly suspicious or anything. It's not like he's reaching for a gun. He's just lifting his hand up to the reading supreme. It'd be more like I just feel like, like I'm shooting the rat. That's it's why more of a meta conversation. Them. I just don't see how Zora would have came to the conclusion that Zig wants to stop Zig touching the reading supreme. If that makes sense, Zig hasn't communicated anything like that. I'm looking for how the justification is that you would want to do that. Like you could ask Zig why you should no, right? But there's to me, I don't see how you could come to that conclusion. Does that make okay. sense? Okay. Like if you can see it, let me know. It'd be more like a diffuse the situation, like no question mark. But is that you posing it to Zig? Or Yeah. Others well, like yes. it was Zig. I love Zig. So Zig? You get Zora just shouting no at you. Um <clears throat> I think I think you would say stop, but it'd be like it'd be like stop just almost defeated. Mm -hmm. Um very very kind of like breathily. <laughs> His his arms definitely sort of outstretched towards Zig. <clears throat> okay, so is it stop while staring at Zig, holding your arms out to Zig, or is it stop with a hand raised to the captain and then your hand raised out to Zig, like? No, like it's it's um is is uh. So like one arm kind of like. Pointing with all fingers, essentially, at Zig. Okay, yeah, like I kind of almost plead, you know. Yeah, towards... as in, I, 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 you know, it's, it's to the point where I actually don't know if he's actually even taken in that the captain's even spoken mm -hmm. to him. It would be like a, no, stop! Yeah, and so do you want to just send um, Smotov? We'll, we'll see how well that's picked up, right? Because it's not it's specifically well. difficult, but you've now got enough to like make a judgment call on that, if that makes sense. Not a very good sense, it's not, no, but, like, fun. what do you think Zora would get from that? So Zig is telling, or just screaming stop, that you can hear perfectly clearly, even if Zig's audio is muted, yours isn't. Um, so you hear Zig just scream stop to the other Zig, at least, or at least to the Zig and Radiant Supreme situation. So. I mean, I guess I don't know, because uh, I don't even know, he probably knows what that says at this point in time. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, have you ever sent this day through a mind link to any of them? Um I'm trying to remember. Um I'm try I'm trying to remember who uh, Is that strictly true? Had... I don't mean like within the game, but within the scope of the backstory. Are we sure you've not? Uh, maybe in the backstory, maybe at some point. Yeah. But I don't uh, think in the game I've I... it's never happened in game, I don't think. Yeah. Yeah, I think you might be right there, Hold but on. backstory wise, you might have. I've mind linked with in game. I've mind linked with everyone in game. Um, including Zora? Yes. Okay. Zora. Really? When? Yeah. Um, I don't know, but I've got it on my list. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. Well, it's, 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 it's a worthwhile thing um, to track. For moments like yeah, this. Yeah, it's just confusing. Thing. I think I've, you know, I've mind linked with Nix5, Zora, Emily, and Lyco, S. Kate, Westland, and Alice. <laughs> and it went well. Oh, do you know actually mind like today was something with today with like the void dragon or something when like Hamani showed up and we were in the cafeteria of the ship when we were all sitting in the circle but I can't remember if that was Ah, uh, maybe. It was, I mean I know that the void dragon was like mentioned at that point and stuff. But I just don't know if that was why I know, the main I know link I can happen. Didn't in characters, say anything to anyone about anything. Yeah, yeah. Um, I know you're definitely. Not I know who, did, who knew thirty-seven sessions why, into. But... <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say who knew thirty-sevens into this level of absolute bullshit game um, would get confusing, right? With time travel and how many different entities. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so Oh no wait, hold on. I'm not actually hundred percent sure if this means I mind linked with Zora of Zora's on my list. Of <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Zora's on my list of people who I can mind link with. Uh, oh, I think I, I think it's no, I think for the sake of it you have it you've you've mind linked with Zora in the past, I'm sure, because I think you said you'd mind linked because that's how you knew Vesk, right? Um 
Yeah, that would make sense. Yeah. I think you said you added me to that list when you made like me. I think I could be wrong. Oh, okay. but I think right. you are use, correct. Use my, I was gonna say that. yeah, use of mind link from the cockpit, I believe. Um, yeah, I think it was. Yeah, yes. it was the cockpit. Yeah. And it scared him. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. So meanwhile, in the, I was gonna say in the present right. game, but that's maybe in a the, bit. In this. In this. At game. this point. <laughs> yes. Um, at this point. Um, <laughs> What about next five? What are you doing? You can see everything that's here as well. You can hear Zora fine as well. What are you attempting to do, Captain? Uh. <laughs> you can also hear Zig fine. Also, Zig's just shouting no mm. other Zig. But yeah, I like that you ignore that and just speak over oh, Zig stop. literally. <laughs> <laughs> right, there's too much shouting. Oh, I'm just going to gravity hold the other Zig. <laughs> just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go for it. Yeah, right. It's just as and late. It's just like, everybody shut up. <laughs> it's our idea. What's going on here? Yeah. Uh, okay, so. Oh. Blah, 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 blah. So it's basically just psychokinetic hand part. Yeah, I can't do the whole immobilizing part. So it's whether or not you'd actually even got to allow it. To be honest, if I could stop him from just moving his hand. There is nothing to grip onto. Nothing to grab onto. Like, okay. I don't necessarily think you ever get feedback from this, but in this instance, there's like nothing. There's no sure. tangible thing. But, can you roll a will save for me? Oh, no, no, another one of these things. So bad it saves. Thought it did that it's only half decent one I've got. Well. Well. No. no. <laughs> Definitely, there's like nothing at all. It's. You go to use the move, and like you can feel like your psychic kind of powers, like or your gravity manipulation, like. But it's as if you're trying to play by rules that don't exist here. Okay. Uh, I don't know what I'm trying to do. Why is everybody shouting? <laughs> yeah, he's gonna go right up next to Zig if he's want as well. He's gonna go right up next to him. I would go up. Put a hand on your shoulder. I think we just like immediately snap and like look at the gap. Like not snap, but snap. <laughs> 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 Irradiate. <laughs> you move closer, thrust. Captain. Uh, no. Um. <laughs> you could mind thrust yourself, I guess, right? I could. Mi no, I can't. I might have spell slots. Um, <laughs> um, I guess you move closer. No, I think it, once the captain touches his hand, you kind of like snap out of it and just like look. And be like tunnel vision focused on the captain, just looking, looking at him like, what? what Again, I suppose in that sort of like dream sense that yeah. if you're startled in a dream, that becomes your focus. Um, so, what is this? Because already know it's not real in the sense of, but well, we know it anyway. And like as you were saying this, like the woman, the android female that's behind you. Um, she's standing there in her kind of like fancy golden robes all kind of wrapped around her like kind of metallic frame and she's just looking and she's got like both of her hands clasped like just under like her chin um, and she just looks really like pleased and kind of like happy well, Proud Am I confused or was S Kate here? You are remembering facts that aren't related directly to this. SK okay. has been here. Yes. Okay. SK said she but knew. But now she's dead in the future. <laughs> that was that was that was uh, was that through a mind link of some description or like some mental thing with the radiant. Remember, she tried to get in here psychically. Yes, she needs to know right. what you knew, and that's you right. shut her the fuck out. Um. So she's not psychically been here in this weird memory trip, but she has been. She knew the Radiant Supreme. She said that. Um, she yes, was there when Nix right. went into the thing, though, wasn't she? What's that? She was. There was a thing that Nix saw that she was present for. Yeah. So Nix dropped off a big crate that was then hover sledded over to the not-so-radiant Supreme and Grace in the Light of the Burning Mother. And then Eskate showed up through a golden door and a big vault guardian. 
Yes. And they all went through the horrible, creepy, wetty vault. And Nyx asked lots of questions that the now Radiant Supreme was like, Be careful about you see. Grace when the light of the burning mother. That one, yeah. And then Nyx is like, ah, it's cool. And there was lots of talk about, am I a bad parent for doing this? From Grace. Mm. Yes, yeah, that's... Yeah. Right, I sorry. Yep. I, I apologize. No, it's good. It's, it's worth like there's been a lot to this game. So it's, yeah. So yeah. Um I I kind of forgot I uh, kind of forgot what um, You were turned to the I captain. Was, I turned to the captain, that's yep. right. Yeah. And then like as I said at that point like the captain's and like Nick's and all that like you can notice as well if your attention would go to her, but Ed's 014 um, she, as I said, she just has that look of pride as she's staring at Zig on the podium. Um. Oh man, I feel like. Yeah, no, I, th- I think Zig's attention would be on the captain, as if like the rest of the the dream was freeze framed. Mm-hmm. Um. <laughs> As dreams tend to tend to do, um, whether or not that actually happens is you know irrelevant. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, but if 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 it, if it, like that's that's what that's what it would be. Well, even if it did or didn't, you wouldn't notice because you'd be focused yeah, on the captain. Yeah, I wouldn't notice. Right? That's that's the point. Yeah, that's <laughs> focal, his focal point is the captain. Is what I'm, what I'm trying to get at. New bullet. And we can confirm the focal point of Zig is indeed the captain. <laughs> You're right. And let it be said. <laughs> The, the focal po- no, right. Um, <laughs> this is where, this is where it all, all, all happened. This is my graduation. As if, like, the captain's supposed to know that. Yeah, I would be like graduation yeah. question mark. <laughs> <laughs> Raised ocular ridge. Yeah. Only touching the roof at this point. <laughs> Don't you see? This is this is where it begins. Where what the begins? Eggs. You look the on eggs. the wall, there's a calendar with the date circled, you know. <laughs> you see the year, you know exactly when this is. No, no there's not. <laughs> no, yeah. It just says, <laughs> begins. <laughs> Within the it box that says, like says begins, it says this. Yep. <laughs> this, yep. Um... The egg's gone. Radiant Supreme dies, but he doesn't die. Like I, I can't. Uh, this is. There's no time. I think his eyes are like frantic, like super wide, and like ah, what am I gonna do? <laughs> well, that was helpful. Uh, just slow down. <laughs> Calm down. Hundred percent success rate. <laughs> yeah, obviously. <I mean>, like, <laughs> yeah. I think you're making like, you're making no sense. Try and take a deep breath. I'm mean, like, I'm about to mind link the Radiant Supreme. And then what happens? The Radiant Supreme dies. I'll pause but here because it's like such a. At this point, wouldn't everybody be thinking, how dangerous is it? Like, really? Yeah. Like, this is a familiar. Like, so you know your mind links killed someone before, and you keep doing it, buddy. Um, <laughs> just saying but that's yeah. like as an observation. Um, yeah. But anyway, sorry. But back in there. We met Radiant Supreme. Sorry, I, I missed that. What was... So, haven't we met Radiant Supreme? It's it's complicated. Um, I'm sure. Yes. No. I. He does. He doesn't die. But he he dies. The same. Um. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah. oh. Back to the existential nihilism. That hurts. That hurts. Oh. <laughs> nihilism bomb. <laughs> It'll get you later. <laughs> 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 There isn't even a trigger because it doesn't even matter. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean he dies? 
Uh, can we can we discuss this later? It's we're running out of time. Zig, I don't think we can change anything here. <sighs> it's fixable. This this can be fixed. No, because then we wouldn't be here. And I think Zig would kind of at that point kind of frantically kind of just like look around at the the, the scene in general, um, to to kind of see at like what point the the, the scene graduation that, day yeah. has progressed. Yeah. yeah. Like, how far has it come along? Um, mm -hmm. If we're here, I don't think we can change it, but we could learn something. Mm. What do you mean he dies? How does the mind link? How does your connection to him kill him? He was distracted because I mind linked with him. Distracted, and then what happened? Now this is where Ryan's gonna have to help me. <laughs> um. <laughs> he got shot by I can't remember who or from where I, I, I have a feeling it was from here I just love that this is still Zig <laughs> <laughs> yeah um, starts going on CSI all along it was like what in the future <laughs> yeah no yeah, <laughs> it was it was was. <laughs> because the whoa, uh, whoa. Whoa. yeah because the two of them came in from here and I, f I can't, I can't mind if they went in with the bunch of folk and murdered everyone first, and then shot the Radiant Supreme while the mind link was going on, or if shot from the back, um, and shot the Radiant Supreme. I can't remember. Well, fun enough. Uh, let's let's do this, shall we? So let's say. Uh... So, as Zig's trying to remember, there is in, a laser blast. In Zig's blast. defense, I feel like he's tried to, to block as much of this out as possible. Yeah, and that's maybe why it's really difficult for you. Um, but yeah, there's a laser blast that comes from this way. and uh, That's right. Yeah. yeah, the Radiant Supreme gets shot. So you just watch Zig and the Radiant Supreme mind link up here. And then, yeah, the Radiant Supreme gets shot square in the chest by a laser blast from the other side of the room. And then maybe that's when you all kind of focus on the other side of the room. We have some familiar people. The Drow Queen. And her bodyguard. And some of the forcers. Yep, we have the look of like pride on Edzo 14's face just drop into horror, I am, um, and she like, you know, switches from pride through to horror right back to anger. She turns around, and she instantly just glows like a small sun, and all of her kind of golden armor, like her robes all wrapped around her, all start to flare out in that kind of big kind of golden jellyfish that we described previously. Um, Zora, unmistakably, she's a Solarian, um, with solar armor oh, Un unmistakably yeah. and uh, she runs down to the edge of the uh, platform and she just leaps through the gap um, across the room uh, and like all of the kind of golden trails from her like flowing robes as I said give that jellyfish effect as she lands and then her and the drow queen start fighting um, the drowning forces move in and slaughter the crowd all the students get killed yeah. And then Zig runs away. Yep. And uh, other Zig takes a step back. <laughs> what do you guys do? Take a step forwards to get a better view. Yeah, and it is literally just like a bunch of students getting absolutely slaughtered by laser fire. And then the clash of light and darkness that is the madness over here. Mm. So this is what happened to you before you met us? 
It's like you're standing next to the Radiant Supreme's kind of body. Mm hmm. What do you do? I think Zig's gonna look at You also the feel warmer Supreme. next to the egg. Yeah, I think Zig's gonna look at the Radiant Supreme. Look at the egg. Um he's gonna reach out to try and like um touch the Radiant Supreme. Yeah. You do so. Did you do anything else? It, is he is he tangible? Do I do I feel anything? Or is yeah, it... you can touch him. I would like to attempt to um heal the Radiant Supreme. Okay. How do you wish to do that? Um. I guess with a mystic cure. Okay. Alas, at level one, because mm -hmm. I don't have any other spell slots, but. Mm -hmm. um, let me get that up. Title of a sex tip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Jeez, oh, this keyboard isn't working either. Fuck. <laughs> uh, Zora, what are you up to? Uh, you're kind of just standing there as far as I can see. So what's happening? Uh, Zig's run one I'm way up to the Radiant Supreme, but the other Zig has, like, bolted away. Um, and then Nyx has walked towards the massacre. I'm just, <laughs> like, watching what Zig is doing, essentially. Yeah. Uh, um... Probably I've seen enough maskers in my time. I don't really need to watch that shit. I should. <laughs> I should. It's up to you. Like I I mean, probably you have all your Saturday morning vest cartoons just massacres. Like <laughs> uh, I've been mean, probably took part in a few, unfortunately. Uh, yeah. So just life for me. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm probably watching with Zig. Dude. Yeah. Uh, it's like mystic curing, so how does that look, Zig? Um, he's kind of on his knees and it's, it's kind of that pulsing like from his feet to his hands. Mm -hmm. And that's sort of like... Kind of a similar glow from the, the, that's coming from the egg, but, you know, not quite as... Um, not quite as warm and sun-like. Um, Zora, you are actually struggling to see Zig from where you are. In the sense that the light from the egg is too bright. Okay. Like, uh, very, very bright. Um, like even to the point where, like, if your dark version wouldn't show you color, now that this is a particularly dark place, that just the light from the egg is super orange. Um, not to give you dramatic flashbacks to other games, but <laughs> yeah. I will. I will. What? I'll go closer to him then. Like, yeah. probably best not. Yeah. You're like bathed in heat this time as well. Um, <sighs> it's actually really difficult to move any further. Oh really? Yeah. Um, Zig, as you mm -hmm. cast your magic into the body of the Radiant Supreme, you feel a hand on your shoulder. Zig um, takes a second before looking at it. Um, like he takes that, like he feels it. He kind of he startled slightly, but he's kind of definitely focused on the the healing. Um, and then takes a second and looks looks towards his shoulder. Um, yeah, and uh, there's a woman standing, maybe just shy of seven feet tall. Um, looks a lot like this person I'm putting in our chat. No. Oh. Okie dokie. Um, <laughs> looks a lot like her. Um, so, yeah. And um, dress made of sunlight. Just kind of standing there. Um, you you realise you're now, you're now standing, staring at this kind of tall woman, blonde hair. Kind of, again, looks like light is coming through the hair as well. Like a blondish colour with the orange light coming through it. As if she's silhouetted by, like, you know the sun or something behind her. Mm -hmm. 
her dress, obviously, this orange glow, this warm glow. Uh, as I said, she's about maybe seven feet tall, towering over you, hand on your shoulder. You realise you're standing there, and you're on that weird orangey liquid surface that seems to be reflecting the massive orange wall behind her. Okay. You've been in this place before. You and Alice were here once. Mm-hmm. And she's just looking at you and smiling. Who... Who... Who are you? She kind of, um... Scrunches up her nose a bit. And then she kind of leans down. Um... Her dress just seems to, like, sink into this liquid floor. Um... All the light kind of dancing from it. Like, the kind of light on moving water. And she just kind of leans in. And just touches your nose. And she smiles at you. Um, I think Sig would would kind of just kind of relax a little bit. As you do. And go, yeah, yeah just a slight bit because he's been fairly tense. Um, mm -hmm. and he would he would just kind of look at her. Um. You also heal everything, by the way. Everything, everything goes back. Full rest levels of everything from her, touching your Jesus. nose. Jesus. And then I think Sig would look at her and go, "Who? Who am I?" And then um, she stands back up, smiling. Look at her hands, kind of clasped behind her back. And then she just kind of stares at you, and then she goes to speak. And then you kind of come out of it, and you're leaning over the uh, the Radiant Supreme, and you feel him pulse with life at that moment. And he uh, unpips himself. I think Zig would kind of kind of uh, go from like kneeling to kind of like sitting back that kind of almost um, startled back type yeah yeah kind of shot um, like his, his like hands are behind him supporting him because he almost you know fell back yeah and you feel yeah. the Radiant Supreme like use your knee as support as uh -huh. he helps himself up and he kind of like pats it kind of twice absent mindedly and he kind of turns and he says thank you Zig and he kind of like looks at you determinedly and nods um by this point, the fight's like moved away, and uh, he then says, "Now run!" And uh, he just makes his way through all of the mess, kills all the drow that were in this room with mm -hmm. fire. They all just like burn instantly, disintegrating. I am um, as he walks past them. Um, they didn't even have a chance. And he walks down that way, and then there's just a massive roar of fire down the corridor. As he walks that way. Um, yeah. So, do you want to give me a will save? Yeah. Well, not particularly, but I will. Cool. The place mentally feels like it's collapsing. I think Zig would immediately go to just shout out like we need to go let's go yeah looking at the captain and um and next five lead the way <laughs> <clears throat> um i guess uh zig would kind of aim for the the sort of that that weird teleporting room thing you can't even see that far anymore <clears throat> like this place seems to be diminishing what? Oh, like going right. Okay, Zig's yeah. just gonna bolt. Whatever way is visible, he's going. Oh, imagine it's slow. Like the level is deloading as it gets closer okay. to you. Okay, Zig's going to grab the egg. Okay. Cool. To what? And are you gonna like... try and lift it? 
Um, no, he's going to put both hands on it, and he's going to do that thing. You know when you know when you're in like a really bad dream, and you know you're in a dream, and you're just like telling yourself to wake up. Mm-hmm. He's going to attempt to do that sort of. Okay, so grab the egg, and then yeah. what does Zora do? <laughs> we'll find out what next five does when Alex returns. But what does Zora do? <laughs> As I said, you can see this place like starting to fade to this weird mist as well. Uh, Zack, we need to leave. Yeah, we need to leave. And you've also witnessed how powerful the Radiant Supreme actually is as well. Like, he didn't no, like, why is it all <laughs> actually like, why is it even helping this whole time, man? Jesus Christ, like, uh, I mean, taken out by a laser pistol to the chest, not great. Coming back and being angry, pretty good. Um, yeah. Don't make me Conan the Golden Egg, Zig. Just come on. You can weirdly move up there now if you wanted. <coughs> can I try and lift it for him? Uh, yeah, you can put your hands on it, yeah. And attempt to uh, I've got a will save again. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, I will do so. Nope. I will do so. There's no need to will save. Nice. Nope. Um, you can feel the egg. I can feel the egg. I will warm. athleticize. It's very warm. I mean, yeah, like it's a warm scorching egg. warm, or is it just like, like warm egg? Yeah. Like, mm, I like this egg. It's nice and warm. Uh, yeah. Athleticize. Um, sure. Are we just going to assume Nix 5 came closer as well? Uh, lifting the egg. Mm. Athleticize. Ah. Eh. Cool. So, Zig, roll athletics. That's a terrible idea, but okay. Uh, <clears throat> Can do it. It's pretty bad. What is your wisdom ability, or whatever it's? That's the stat, right? Wisdom. Wisdom is the stat, I think. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what is your wisdom score? Boop, 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 boop. Also, just for Alex, who's returned, they've both run up to touch the egg. What do you do? The place seems to be a... like fading away into mists, um, as if the place is shrinking. I think that's a really bad idea. <laughs> what does next five do? Because <laughs> at the this point in time, um, like you're only seeing like maybe this much. Still here, as it's slowly getting closer. Uh, whilst it's a bad idea, I feel like it's better to do a bad idea together. It climbs up on pedestal, hugs it. Yep. <laughs> Friendship, bud. Yep. This is like, a stupid uh, idea, but I don't want to be separated. Uh, I mean, it's not that stupid, right? We've we've played my games before. Um, <laughs> we, we know how that works. Um, oh, meta is a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, yeah. Let's see how well this Sorry, goes. my wisdom's uh, 17. Um, um. Oops. So, plus three score. Sorry. Yeah. Wee. <laughs> uh, where are we? Where are we? And now back to again. square one. We are golden egg. Woo! Ah, oh, thank Christ! Yes! <laughs> Fucking nailed it! <laughs> Oh, oh, talk like that. <laughs> oh, how did that work? <laughs> Genuinely, I am sweating so much. <laughs> Unrelated to the game. <laughs> now, how did we get out of this godforsaken room? <laughs> uh, let me try and find us on the map because I've just got a black map at the moment. That means you're sorry. Yes, but I had. I had to just scroll about. Um, there we go. I think I found us again. Falls backwards, exasperated. <laughs> So what do we do with this one? <laughs> Amanda just shows up. Oh, this one too. Oh. Yeah, right. So, for Zig's memory, remember the um, drow left with the egg? Like the queen yeah, and the royal guard, did. right? And then, remember that later, in the vault ship 
uh, not the Vault ship, the um, Throne ship, sorry, that's the word I'm looking for, with the Vault in the brain. The Throne ship. Urgalas appeared, paralysed as many people as he could, and then made the Drow Queen and her Royal Guard like, show themselves, and then took the Solar Egg from them. Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. So what does this mean? Did we just did we just nab the egg from well everyone? <laughs> ah, you know I don't know. <laughs> but on the plus side, you maybe now understand how the Radiant Supreme survived graduation day. Yeah, that's what I, I was. So do you know, I was like, so, I was like standing there. I was like, I really want this to be this. <laughs> As Callum, I was like, I need Zig to be the reason the Radiant Supreme is, like, alive for Zig. Oh, it's just so good. <laughs> oh, my insides hurt. <laughs> my right and brain hurts, but it's okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so, Lyco. The, Hello. Like, moments pass, and there is no warmth coming from the doors. Okay. What do you do? Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I be warm. Um. Yeah, like it's literally <laughs> just door get ripped open by Zora. Zora jumped through. Door slam shut. Dry goes splat. Dry body falls in front of you. Um, um, you just essentially you weren't quite quick enough to throw it through. Um, to like jam it in. Yeah. Fully. And then all of a sudden, the doors just start giving off a lot of heat. I, uh... And not in the sense of, oh god, it's a furnace, but you are warm, cosy. That does mean but so I'll take that. it's not an that. alarming heat. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not necessarily something that would feel... It's that nice feeling when you leave, from, like, you go from outside cold, like cold, a cold day into a nicely heated house. Cause I'm on the outside. Um, and the same goes for you guys within that room, the, ch the egg chamber. Like it's not a furnace heat; it is a warm, comforting heat. I, uh, I, you know what? I'm gonna try and uh, calm Cap again. See if anything's changed in that view. Oh, again, unresolved, like connection issue, sadly. Um. I suppose I'll take a few steps back and wait, and if nothing comes through within like a couple of minutes, uh, there's I'll else, go yeah. looking again. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, let's switch inside the egg chamber. The egg chamber. So, back to square one, how do we get this door open? <laughs> now, with added <laughs> egg. Just ignoring Zig's revelation. <laughs> what I love, though, <laughs> is the fact that you are no longer like crowded round collapsed Zig on the floor. I think um, Zig's gonna try and open the door. He's gonna he's gonna grab he's gonna grab his um, amulet in one hand, and he's just going to like slam it against the 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 vault door and just channel as much energy into it as he, as he can. Uh, possibly can. How much energy can you possibly channel? Quite a lot. <laughs> okay, good answer. Uh, so, <laughs> what are you using to do that? Um, that's a good question. Mm -hmm. Yep. Because you can't just say, oh, I'll just use my uh, inbuilt super cannon. Yeah. Oh, do you, you have one of those? Inbuilt? Yeah, I got one of those. Got, got two, in fact. Yeah, I've got, I've got, do you know what? I've, I've, got, I've got one for each limb. Yeah. I mean, he just said he's got one for each limb. You don't. <laughs> <laughs> Weirdly, yes, because I'm sure I can look at his character sheet before you can code it in. <laughs> Nonsense. Even if quick, Zig, give me the fucking rights, quick. <laughs> even if, even if uh, Zig had thought of this way back when we last played, I imagine it would still wouldn't be coded in there purely because no, of how when, awkward when these what? sheets can be. <laughs> yep. See how I saved like, it last I minute. I haven't got like the actual, um, like abs the the actual mechanical powers of my amulet coded into my character sheet at all. Yeah, I know how it works. Don't worry. I know how it works too, but I just need to 
remember. Yeah. yeah. Um, I don't think you've ever been I'm hit by the type of damage. damage. Yeah, I was gonna say. I think you've not, been, not been hit by force damage at all, so it's been fine. Yeah. I think it's force damage anyway. I think yeah, so. Yeah. Europe. That's what I recall. Um, so yeah. What, um, what what are you burning resource wise? I will burn sheet? stamina if I have to. I mean, I don't think you have a move that lets you do that, do you? Like, what, what, what moves do you have that you can use? <laughs> the thing is, I've burnt so many spell slots, I don't know if I have anything. <laughs> I mean, I feel like you got every single thing back. Oh, did I get everything back? I mean, yeah, the effects of a long rest. Oh, okay, right, okay. I forget well, that that's a very D&D term, but yeah. Oh, okay. Heck, right. Yeah, remember that? Remember that entire scene in front of the weird mm -hmm. blonde yeah, lady no, with I the sundress? That was. I was just. Um, she touches your nose like, and you feel great. No, sorry. And you, uh, you you ask her who is she, and then she touches your nose, and you ask yourself, who am I? And then yeah, you wake up, and you answer the question. Yeah. It's very Tell good. me, baby, who are you? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I I will happily burn some some mind thrustage. Sure. I say happily. That's not. That's not true. But so yeah. You do. You just tell me what you're doing. I'll tell you how the world reacts. Right. I am burning third level mind thrust on the door whilst holding the amulet in my hand and slamming it into the door. Cool. The door retracts. As you slam into the door with your hand and then mind thrust into it, again from the amulet impact, there's all these golden kind of lights, almost like a circuit board, light up all the way through this kind of muscle membrane, kind of like strange veins that seem to have more order to them than biology. And then the doors like slam open. There's a bit like a whoosh of the air between like you and uh, I guess the the draw outside with Lyco kind of standing there. Lyco, your hair maybe wishes slightly forward to the vacuum. His uh, cloak and clothing and crazy reflective tinfoil armor wishes forward a little bit towards the door, and it's open. Yeah. Hmm. Also, Lyco says, "There's now a <laughs> massive character. glowing egg ah. shining light towards you, Lyco." I will. Uh cover like my eye, my hand, and just wait for them to excuse me, excuse me, God. Uh, wait for them to emerge because this is a sort of comforting, non-threatening light. And can I see them through the light, or is it like enough to obscure them? Yeah, they all have that kind of badass silhouette effect going on, right? Okay, so I know it's them. Mm -hmm. They walk forward. They've got weird, evil mustaches. I mean, that's new. I'll, I'll tell that. Hello, <laughs> 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 How are you? Weirdly, you don't have uh, one. You're just, you're, you're, well you're, like you're, you're, you're just normal, weirdly. Um, uh, but no. Oh, uh, I've Tash, man. Absolutely. <laughs> none, of that, tash. None, none of the evil alternate universe people happen. So, yeah. You uh, anyway, so, yeah. yeah. Your eyes can adjust, etc. What not. So, uh... That's new. <sighs> Next time you open all the doors from now on, Zig. Don't walk go. past them. <laughs> um, well, we need to. We need to find a way to to take the egg. I'll sigh and I'll walk back. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of skipping step one. We need to find a way to get out. I don't like the idea of leaving this unchecked. Let's not. We can bring it with us. Um, I suppose. <laughs> what do the athletics think again? Okay. Okay. Sorry. Okay, that's good. Okay. So you can move it. It's not what I would call graceful, but you can move it. 
Okay, I will just hobble along with the big egg. Right, so... Where do you go? Uh, I think I know... I think I know a path we should take. I don't know if it's the way out, but there's certainly... There's something going on. Captain, I mentioned seeing place. a drow corpse ahead. Uh, I, uh, I think we should investigate. I would thought. Then I'd be like, this isn't exactly the most stealthy object to be dragging the boot, but... Hey! Uh, not that ideal, but... We'll, uh... Take it slowly. I'll scout ahead. Um... Huh. Right, so... Right, so let me know where you're going, and like, can you do it in just 30 foot increments so I can keep the camera up to date? <laughs> this way. Boop. No, this way. Ah! It was, um, around and down, wasn't it, that way? I mean, around is such a vague term, but yeah. Like, this way. I feel like there was a shortcut back that I've completely forgotten about. Yeah. I feel like that is true. Is it that way? Yeah. Yeah, okay. You know what? Score that out. I'm not an idiot. At yeah. least my character isn't. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let's go this way. <laughs> if I was a meaner man, I'd have been like, yeah, you're not Zig. But that seems cruel, so I wouldn't say that. Wow. It may be true, but it's also very mean. Right, right, cool. Stop about there for me and let other people <laughs> kind of follow. Consider it stopped! And consider... It stopped. <laughs> All stop. Uh, you should be able to move the egg as well, Zora. Oh, you... Beautiful. You Zora. can move the egg. <coughs> but can the egg <coughs> move you? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> right, does everybody else want to try and catch themselves up to Lyco? Yeah. <laughs> I think Zig's going to stay as close to the egg and the captain as humanly possible. Okay, so... <laughs> Next we'll follow what up behind. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Say it again! It's not actually like moving through, I could still answer it. Do you need a hand, Captain? <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> oh. You should have said so. Can I assist? Yeah, you can you can help. It's more just about Zora trying to like push it, really, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, this thing is like huge, right? Or it's a large object, I should say. That you're quoted for everybody that cares. Um, it's pronounced Lergy. <laughs> I hope it's not the Lergy. <laughs> no yeah, you should have given the door the cold. <laughs> right, go for it. Where are we going? Follow the like where the like will go, I don't think she actually went away. Well, I don't think Zora knows them, do you? Like, uh, oh god. Like, uh... Hold on. <laughs> where are you, like, uh? <laughs> Oh, some bot again it was. La, 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 la. Oh, I'm stuck right, inside. Right, right a bit, Captain. Right a bit. I'm stuck inside the... I've cut through the dynamic light and I'm stuck in the the walls. Okay, oh, there we go. <laughs> you guys are... You maybe want to move it separately. Stuff that I realized. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll, we'll move it separately. Okay. You just hear this, just like, gonna... weird, like, wet rolling sound. Uh, oh. Like, was this thing, like, is being pushed down the corridor? <laughs> I guess yes. it would actually be in front of me, right? Mm hmm. To me. <laughs> 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 Why is it we always end up in these ridiculous situations where you're moving stuff around places? Like, remember the cargo hold? <laughs> Trying to chase around Ivan. <laughs> oh dear. Amazing. Uh, Lyco, do you want to take another 30 foot ahead again? Do you want to 
move yep. a bit. So I think that takes me to about here. You can keep going a wee bit further if you wanted to the the crossroads bit. This L like a Tell us if there's any hills. <laughs> uh, no hill. <laughs> but take it take it slow around this corner. I don't know what's ahead. I don't think we have much choice, Lyco. <laughs> so good. Well, I don't think Cap has much choice. Mm. Um, I will gesture to them using the ancient gesture of raising my hand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the ancient gesture. The, the ancient, ancient human gesture. gesture. Yep. <laughs> ancient gesture. And uh, I would like to try and go stealthily down. Okay. Just in case anything is there. Yeah, right, that's that's a good thing. So what do you guys do once like let's assemble everybody a bit more right? I'm gonna just move everybody a bit more specifically. There we go. Uh it's like you can go there. So yeah, this thing's casting ridiculous much of light. Um yeah, Lyco, like, oh, do you wanna take point now? I do indeed. Consider point taken. Right. Uh can I roll for stealth? Yep, or? please do. I think I double Oh yes! Nice! Mm. I am the stealthiest fucker! Do you finally get to be sneaky boy? <laughs> You're really sneaky? I'm, Confirm. I'm walking near the walls, my gun is ready! Oh shit, where's Lyco gone? I can't see him. He's <laughs> invisible man! I've only seen ah, Solarians do skills like that. Like, that's right, quick, crazy. mind link back to another point in time so you can steal the new Lyco. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so yeah, get down a bit more. Still feeling those wounds, like. Oh. Oh, yeah, it smarts a little. <laughs> okay, we've got a dead dragon kin. Do you calm that back, or? I do. Um, okay. Fun. Like Fantastic. Over. Give me that axe. <laughs> Guys, we've got. <laughs> we've, we've we've. What are they called? Dragon. What are they called? You don't know, system? right? They're called dragon kin in the system, but you don't know. Okay. Uh, guys, we've got one of the. The dragon creatures you down. Just, it's okay. Nick seems to just be walking towards you. Several, drow. I don't know how many. I suspect there might be more ahead. And I'm seeing some sort of aura. Don't go into the light. I don't <laughs> intend to. <laughs> uh, uh, you said don't go into the light as you're silhouetted by this mini sun egg. <laughs> <laughs> and like go, I am your god. Is that what I think that is? Am I seeing a tree? Dunno. Are you? I'm seeing a tree. I'm and not seeing one of those. Right. So as you stand there, right? You see this uh woman uh, <laughs> kneeling at the foot of a tree. All this light coming off this tree, um, and like kind of weirdly like swirly arcing mists like coming and going from the tree, um, and around her. And she sits there, and then she looks up, and she looks quite startled when she sees you. Do you say anything to her? Uh, I probably look quite startled too for a moment. Yeah, and maybe I have this shot of what? I think I've been I've been sneaky, and then just like for a moment, kind of lost track of the fact that I need to do like I think I was sort of bewildered not bewildered but just sort of engrossed in and taken aback a bit by what I was seeing and sort of like relaxed a little too much. Yeah. Uh, and didn't quite realise how visible I was for a second there. Yeah, maybe like your focus uh, was on like the big giant corpse in front of you as well. Uh she is drow, right? She looks drow. Yeah, definitely looks drow. I see uh, in intro, because I do speak intro. Uh Hi there, uh, we're trying to find a way out of this vault. She kind of narrows her eyes at you, and she stands, like kind of weird kind of silvery dress, kind of falls down. Um, as if it had been pulled up so she can like, bend her knees. She stands up. She looks like pretty tall as well, maybe like 6'2 or something. Um, 
and she looks at you and she says, in Joe, she says back, you're looking for a way out. Are you one of my sister's pets? I, uh, I think, I think, like, a sort of, <laughs> reflexively sort of, like, adjusts the weight of the gun in his hand, not quite realising he's doing it, and says that. Mm -hmm. Um, and, uh, starts almost to say, like, in fucking space common, uh, but then catches himself and, and, and repeats and, and, re and reiterates and drives, no, no, I'm, uh, I'm no one's pet, I'm part of a crew, but we're independent. Cries in some dial. Um, but yeah, and she goes, how perfectly curious, what brings you to my sister's vault? Her face seems less stern now, and she seems to be um, just kind of drinking you in visually. Uh, yeah, so I, I say a dragon, and gesture to the the, the corpse at the feet. If we there, I believe, master. If we pause this moment, what's everybody else doing as they're having this exchange? Do you just stay put? Um, also, Zora is too far away, but does Nix and um, you call it Zig? You just can make perception checks if you think you'd be listening out, because you might hear voices. <laughs> um, I don't okay. think Zig's actively looking or for listening. anything, <laughs> but if if or listening, but if if like he like overheard a voice, he would okay. start to actively lis listen. If that makes sense. Yeah. So next, you hear the exchange, more so all of Lyco's like conversation. That doesn't even include the plus two for my cybernetic ears. Yeah. <laughs> so you definitely hear Lyco speaking. Um, and you know he's speaking, obviously, to someone. In the sense that there are, there is, like, noise as a reply, but you're not quite getting And you'll understand me, and you'll know that I'm speaking Drow. Important point, sorry. Yeah. So I wanted to reiterate. Well, yeah, like, it's the same as... Knowing when your friend's speaking French because you know you do, you know what your friend sounds like, right? Um, mm -hmm. That idea. So it isn't just an image that you'd think, oh, there's an unaccented dialect, you know, or un what's it, regional dialect or something? Accent, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, it sounds like zombie drill. Yeah, Barai drill. Um, yeah, and we can have zombie drill, but I'm a zombie human. <laughs> but yeah. No uh, So do you do anything with that knowledge, Nix? I peer around the corner. Cool. Oh, oh, and I'm a loser. That was dramatic. Welcome oh. back. Um, oh, good things. You so come back to you us. You look down the corridor and you mm -hmm. just see a bunch of bodies and Lyco kind of standing. Like, describe how you're standing side on for. For next uh, So at this sort of angle, he'd be seeing like. Is your gun like relaxed or is it gripped the up? Gun tight? sort of held like slightly. Like imagine how, sort of like a soldier standing ready. Um, or on guard, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but slightly relaxed, like the gun pointed down, uh, but still very much held ready to be raised if need be. And you'd be seeing me from, like, partially from behind, you'd probably be seeing a little bit of me in profile. Like, mm -hmm. I don't think you'd mm -hmm. get a good idea of like what my facial expression was, but since he can hear me, he can probably... He can hear what I'm saying and he can probably gather the tone I'm saying it in. So he he would probably be quite aware that I wasn't, you know, for instance, uh, not, you know, he, w he wouldn't think I was in combat, see. Mm -hmm. Okay, well I can't see who he's talking to. No. <laughs> Touché, Zig. Um. Touché. Um... As a sword fencing instructor, um, <laughs> just... <laughs> That's better than the other kind of fencing. Depends on your desires, I guess. Uh, right, I okay. Mean, if I wanted to fence, <laughs> like I, mean... a... I didn't even know if there was one. Anyway, yes. Like a... Who's there? Um, so remember, you're mid-conversation um, at this point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm am I alright to in. respond to that? Am I... Yeah, because yeah, you, you would just stop mid-sentence unless you want to continue your conversation with her. I will politely uh, excuse myself, Indro, of course, 
Um, what do you see? Something to the effect of the drow equivalent of uh, uh, apologies. Bear, bear with me a second. My uh, a member of our, our crew is. Uh, and as you're like saying that, she'll look around and then she'll kind of lean against the tree with one hand, um, and she'll say, "I won't go anywhere." Hmm. Uh, as I'm sort of turning back towards Nix and say, saying his name, like I probably smile very faintly mm. as I'm speaking, um, but I don't call you on it. Uh, yeah, yeah, so I turn back towards Nix and go, uh, "Nix, you were saying." Who are you talking? To? That's a good question. Uh, why don't why don't you? Uh, what language are you speaking sing? right now? Oh, that's a good question. I was just going space common, but <laughs> but maybe not. What about just for the sake of being sneaky? What about Vesk? Vesk works, or is that a reoxin? I said reoxin would be a really nice one. Seems you know what? Have. I guess considering yeah, what the bone sage is, the oxygen makes sense. Um, it's the one I know is the <laughs> language we share that's the least likely to be. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Okay, eoxin. I, I really, you know. Uh, why don't you and Sig come in and we can discuss this? The captain maybe should stay back with the egg. It's uh. I don't know exactly what the hell's happening with it, but I don't know that we want to show it off immediately. Are we coming in guns hot? No. No, I don't know if she's a threat, but she is contained. Okay. I waved his egg as I step around the corner to follow. Okay. When Callum returns, we'll see if Zig follows. Zara, what are you doing? Uh, uh, because you probably heard the next, <coughs> and then you heard them start speaking in Eoxian. So, I mean, I don't understand the Eoxian. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, next five, repeat what you said to Zig for me. I walk. just waved at him to follow. It was just a hand gesture to come this way. Um, I step around the corner. Zig would kind of. Um, cautiously follow. Um, I, I I don't know. I, I guess it's sort of stealthily. You also missed them, like when Nick's talking Yorkian the whole time. Oh wait, hold the boat. I would start like squeezing through the egg. So you're leaving the egg there? No, I, 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 yeah, I'm, I'm going to the other side at least. Wait. To what? Try and pull it. Oh no, I mean, I mean, well, yeah, I guess I was about to leave it there, Kiel. Okay, cool. Yeah, okay, so, sorry, Nyx and Nico were speaking Yoxian, mm -hmm. uh, which and then I went this understand. way. And then, I assume you, you, you never call. said to you in Yoxian, come this way, I assume that was like common or something. Nah, I just waved. Fun. I didn't say anything to him, yeah. I just waved no, him, just following me. Yeah, it was the um, gesture of follow me. Yeah. Yep. Zig would uh, gingerly follow. I am. Can I roll a stealth? Yeah. Of some description, mm -hmm. please. <laughs> um, the lack of description, the better stealth. Cool. Yep. <laughs> I think you uh, trip over a segmented blade whip here. Yeah. <laughs> you stumble a bit. That was pretty rubbish. Uh, that's fine. But yeah, I'd I'd follow. Um. I'd hear you tripping a little and shout back. You all right there, kid? Yeah, it's fine. In, in space, uh, common. I would just kind of. Zig would here. would uh, swear in Yasoki. Hmm. Uh, do you head up any further, Zig? I I feel like um, I'm I'm going to move him down here. Um, I feel like he wouldn't want to lose sight of where the egg is. Um, so he's gonna he's gonna stay here for for the time being. And Zara, where are you going? I'll probably just like kind of like hug this wall. If you know what I mean? Like just keep again keep the the, the thing in sight. 
the egg in sight, but just kind of. Cool. So Zig, you can see that Zora's left the egg. <laughs> um, Zig's taking a step back. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, just, just, just go. It's in sight. And uh, next, you walk into the room. You see this big glowing field um, around what seems to be a tree, big tree, a um, very large tree, and all these like wisps of like white golden energy all circling around it, as if it's like feeding the field, and uh, a drow lady standing inside it, with her hand leaning against the tree kind of trunk. Greetings. What language are you speaking? Drow. And then she stares at you and she says, like, I think Drow would maybe have a slightly more specific, um, it would be like good greetings or like sorrowful mm. greetings or there would be like an emotion attached to the greeting. So it would be like, you know, sorrowful greetings, I bring bad news, right? Or, mm -hmm. you know, pleasant greetings, I'm home from the war and we won, you know. Suspicious greetings. Yeah, so you give the draw equivalent of the suspicious greetings. And she kind of like nods and her hair does that kind of nice gentle flowing thing along with her kind of tilt of her head. Um, she seems to be wearing some kind of weird little silver tiara type thing. Um, it's like little prongs. Um, I'll show you the picture. Let's just... There she's there. And um, she kind of tilts her head ever so slightly towards you. And she says... Suspicious greetings, and nods back to you. Again, it'd be one dry word, mm -hmm. but she replies it back as if you're correct. It is. <laughs> um, yeah. Does Lyco or next do anything? And does Zora move any closer? Because you now hear them speaking dry. Um, <laughs> <coughs> I'm not dragging in with a toe. Just make sure it's dead. Uh, there's only like, oh, there's only half of it left. So oh, then it's probably dead. Yeah, it's uh, this is a, not quite a button situation, but the thing mm. just seems to be the lower half of its torso and like bits of its wings, um, lying against the field. Uh so I will take this opportunity to introduce myself. I will say, um. Uh, he's, how to how to drawify? Uh, yeah, my apologies for a rude greeting. I am Lyco Gwint. This is my colleague, and I would gesture sort of towards him and let him introduce himself. Next five. We are of the crew. Of the what the fuck's the new one? The final hour. Yeah. We are the crew. Of, we are part of the crew of the final hour. We were brought here. Um. Under circumstances. This is all in dry, isn't it? Yes. Right. We don't fully understand. And while you're giving this, we'll come back to you in a wee second as you're explaining this. Might Zora, have been a but slight just, lie, but never yeah, mind. like uh, while you're explaining this, Zora Zig, anything happening in the corridor? Uh, I will like literally like edge down the wall, but I'm not pick, letting the egg out of my sight. Like sort of idea. I mean, it's just sitting there anyway. Yeah, I, so I refuse yeah. to. I've like my eyes are kind of. I'm listening to what they're. Or, or Why don't you just much? move it down the corridor? I mean, could, but do I do that? Is that I know, do you? Do you? <laughs> I oh, don't know. I'll, I'll edge it. I'll edge it ever so slightly down the corner a bit. Boop, boop, boop. We'll leave it there, right? Right. Okay, right. And I'm, then, trying, uh, I'm trying to figure out how far I can move in without losing right here. And I will stand here and then I will, then I can at least see people. I mean, you could literally just move the egg there if you really wanted to. Like. Then you could yeah. move right into the room if you want. It's There's no. It's entirely up to right, you. Wait, wait, wait. Hold the vote, hold the vote. What's my. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
remember if you run it's four times your speed, so. So I can get away with like here. Nobody's moving with that very fast unless they've got teleporting abilities, which is everybody in this fucking game, so Including yourself, you cheeky bitch. I get to it. <laughs> Zora laughs to himself. <laughs> uh, yeah, so um, like she nods at both of you when you introduce yourself and you start to explain, and then those two walk in very like gingerly backing into the room. <laughs> yeah. Captain? And maybe Zora turns around and sees the giant golden shimmering field for the first time, and yeah, the tree, etc. Oh, well, I don't know Drow, so I guess I'll just be me. You're fancy. <laughs> and is that common, or is that in Vesk? Or common. Co common. And common. Common. And then she says. Thank you. And that's it. She says that. So, again. see, you dealt with the uh, dragon problem? Or whatever these things are. She kind of looks at you, like, her eyes narrowed and the head tilted to the side. Doesn't say anything, though. Just looks a bit like she hasn't understood you. Captain, oh. I'm fairly certain she's contained within the, uh... Oh. Or aura? Uh, uh, let's call it an aura. I'm just gonna wave it off what I said then. <laughs> <laughs> but... We haven't... Switching back to Drow. We haven't finished our introduction, sorry. Lean my head slightly expectantly. I mean, they don't. Um, oh, he doesn't. The captain doesn't speak Drow, so. No, it's a hard. They, they uh. would introduce himself. Um. Going. Um, Zig. And oh yeah, he's awkwardly Zig. wave. You speak Drow, right? I do speak Drow. Yeah. So. Yeah, I'll like, repeat that anyway. Like as you awkwardly wave, um, she awkwardly waves back, like from the waist with her hand and that kind mm -hmm. of oh hi but I'm kind of busy type wave that you get from people like oh hey hi you know um, so she does that from the hip and she looks obviously at Lyco because Lyco's implied a question um, of who are you essentially and she says um, you're in my sister's vault yet you know not what is within correct Forgive me if I am reluctant to reveal anything to people I know not. Mm. And she takes a step forward, off the, like so. She, her hand goes by her side, and they both kind of like clasp each other in front of her, um, and she just kind of like stands, kind of closer to the edge of the field. Can uh, can we perhaps assist you? She has a very pleasant smile that appears on her face, and that kind of, you know, you've complimented her type vibe, where someone's happily receiving said compliment. It's a very non-sinister smile, is what I'm getting at. Okay. <laughs> and um, she says. And how would you propose such an endeavour? Well, I'm not certain, but I would suggest that perhaps you are not here voluntarily? She kind of just nods once. In which case, having us on the outside of this 
dome, this field. Uh, and she just says in one distinct word, prison. This prison. Perhaps we would be able to uh, help you get out. Now, GM question for the group. Does Indy have any lore about the drow? Like, no, their backstory? not at all. Like, does Indy have anything? Like, I don't think many of you have had dealings with them, right? Um, I feel like we're quite yeah, a, a drow-free party. Unless it's something that I'd get through, like, Tempered Pilgrim kind of knowledge. I would probably mostly know, like, the, the dodgy ones <laughs> yeah, that work in Astalon. Vic's knowledge of drow is drow killed lots of people. And yeah, that thing Sarah. we just saw moments ago. And, yes, <laughs> so that, that's it. All I know is I don't like them. I just love that nobody explained how they got the egg in that room. Lyco was just like, ah, doors closed, doors open, egg. Cool. You know, Lyco just takes these things in straight. Yeah, I mean, you should have been dead, <laughs> yeah, that right? Figures. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some things just happen. Uh, yeah, so. Well, just one news, really, probably not. Nothing, really. But yeah, that's fine. Um, what was the last thing asked, I think? I think it was mostly just a. What about if we could assist by helping her get out? This is all in Drow, isn't it? To be speaking in Drow. Entirely. I have been just for the sake of politeness, even though I now know she can speak common. Yeah, <clears throat> and she's been replying in Drow because he's speaking it. Uh, so yeah, you don't misunderstand unless you ask somebody what's going on. But um, she replies to Lyco's question, uh, or at least offer, and says, "Why would you help someone you don't know?" Because the one thing you've told me so far indicates to me you have a better chance of getting out of here than we do. Your sister's fault, yes? For now. Then would I be wrong to assume that you may have some knowledge of it? <laughs> she has that smile again. This one's sort of more like self-pleased. Um... She says, yes, it was mine, originally. We have no... Okay, I, I want to use the phrase horse in this race, but that probably doesn't really apply here. Uh, I don't know, do they have horses, space horse in this space race? Um, no, but you could do something go? more elven, right? So, um, depends, right? See if you're going to go... Because you might have picked up something from Shakos, right? Old Elven sure. would be more fantasy based, right? So it'd be like, you know, we have no branch in this river or some shit like that. Um, <laughs> or if you're going to go more recent drow, you would say we have no runner in this arms race or some shit like that. Do you see what I mean? Because primarily the drow seem to be like black market tech dealers and, you know, if you need something specifically okay, dodgy. Like no runner in this race then. I'd, because I'd pick it up from Shackles probably. Yeah. Or from someone I met through work. Mm -hmm. um, excuse me. Sorry, I'm a tired boy. Um, uh, we, we, we have no runner in this uh, race. Emphasis on, uh, you know, race implies mm -hmm. more than race. Um, I, uh, I would have no particular reason to want to prevent you from reclaiming what is yours and if you were able to assist us in escaping we would be I can't speak for the captain but I would certainly be more than eager to assist you in escaping from this gesturing with the yeah. hand that had been on the, the, the sort of the um, handle of the gun the, the uh, this this prison um, assuming we're able to do so from outside I would have to think there's a way and she says uh, there is a way yes what would you ask for this in exchange merely that I let you leave the vault 
<laughs> well, do you mind if I switch to common for the sake of the captain? He doesn't speak drow. And she just looks at you, and then she says, and he kind of like waves, like one of our clasped hands, or so like just kind of gestures towards the kind of captain. I will take that as a yes. <laughs> yeah, the implications there. We, uh, at present, would need the ability to leave, um, but there may be additional needs with the for you know uh, uh, the, uh, what am I trying to sorry I'm tripping there might be words. supplemental uh, charges. Like, there, there may be additional needs. Uh, that I am not fully abreast of. Um, Captain, uh, in order to assist um, the lady who has not deigned to provide her name, but uh, has identified herself as the sister of the current sister of the vault, in escaping from her current prison, uh, in turn for, for that, she's inquired what we would seek. Obviously, I have suggested we need to, uh, we need to find a way out here, given that we are now without our gateway. Okay. Is there mm. anything additional that I should? We should. I look sort of look around to the group in general. I would as well. say I would say rather loudly. Out, I guess like haven't we released enough monsters into the universe already? Uh, <laughs> I I visibly cringe to that. Hmm. <laughs> 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 hmm. Hmm. Um, and then you hear, <laughs> you hear her voice as you cringe, and then you hear this, like, again, silk worded comm drift through the air and say, I can see why he is your captain. Hmm. <laughs> I, uh... And she takes a step forward to the field. I understand your reservations, Captain, but while I uh, I'm not opposed to searching for a way out ourselves, once we find it, what next? Um, without without furler. I would say, but mm. as you step forwards, like as well, she just like kind of regards you at that point, and she looks from their conversation just at you. She kind of just stares at her. I uh, so, sort of at her more more through her, if that makes sense. Yeah, kind of not focused on her, but kind of. Looking in her direction, but sort of past her. Yeah, and she'll um, she puts her hand on the field, and then just like uses that to brace herself as she like kneels down again, and just sets her like her hand up against the field, as if to get your attention. Is Zig still kind of gone, or does that draw his attention? No, he's he's taking he's taking a step towards the field. He's not gonna he's not gonna touch the field, but he's gonna stand there and just kind of look at her. As you get close, she um, like her face turns a bit more serious, and she says, "Do not touch the field." Okay, I I, I kind of like the idea that Zig had his hand out with him. Yeah, like as if maybe you were about to, to go and go and touch it, like where um, her hand is. Yeah. Yeah. Um, because she's and clearly then, pressed against the field. Yeah. Um, and and then she says, do not touch the field. If you I wish to keep your hand. I think Zig looks at his hand and then puts it down at his side and then sort of kneels down. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, I think actually no, he would sit down cross-legged and yeah. kind of just look, look, look into the the field. And how does your um, kind of just echo for it? Sorry. No, it just kind of like, kind of take her in for the first time, mm-hmm. um, because he hasn't really looked at her, or acknowledged her whatsoever. Um, yeah, and she just looks incredibly well dressed in this kind of weird silver kind of dress, um, like immaculate looking hair, and um, this weird kind of triple crown thing, um, mm-hmm. kind of silvery eyes. Very kind of delicate looking frame to her. Um, as you are kind of staring at each other, what, what? how does the conversation continue? I have to apologise, but in the end, trust both ways, at least tell it to you. At this point, you can see that she's just staring at Zig, so she's kneeled down, like her focus has shifted. Something about the boys interested her. She said it's her sister's vault. Who's that addressed to? Just the room next to Thinking Aloud. Mm-hmm. And her sister is connected to this. Well, was the owner of. Which. Am I inclined to believe that, mean is that she the is the owner? She um, holds up her finger when you say the owner. And she says in Drow, usurper. Yes, uh, apologies. Uh, I mean to say that that would mean... I would stag a late usurper. No, you can't understand her because you said it in Drow. Oh, Drow, damn it! God damn you and your Drow people! (laughs) Wow. You are the owner of the... artifact... held nearby. You are the Drow Queen. And she looks... At the three, well, I guess the four of you now, um, and she says, she stands back up at this point. She smiles at you very kind of briefly, Zig, um, as if that's her cue to say, I am done staring at you. Um, uh-huh. So she smiles and then stands up and like again uses the kind of field to brace herself and then clasps her hands again and she says, I was the queen of the drow until my sister usurped me. Did your sister have any children? She kind of tilts her head, and she says, I've been here for quite some time. She did not when she imprisoned me. Then I'm inclined to say that you were queen of the drow again. And she's going to give you a look. <laughs> I just I just say uh, to the room in general, in common, I had thought we should perhaps keep that one hand. Um, oh, so next, were you speaking in Drow that time, or Common? Uh, Drow. Cool. So Zora has no idea what's being said. <laughs> <laughs> but you, like Zora, you can understand that Nix has said something that clearly has made her shift, like the way she carries her body and such. Like she's been told, either sad or anger, like angering news. Outside voices. <laughs> As a, a reference. <laughs> That's <laughs> awful. I hate it. <laughs> well played. Poorly played. Keep playing. <laughs> hmm. Not sure what to say there now. Yeah, she's kind of just staring at Nyx. I'm sorry if this news bothers you. What was the word, sorry? Sorry if this news it bothers you. <laughs> she, um, she looks kind of at you again directly, and then she looks at Zora briefly, and then back to you, Nyx, and she says again in her very nice, common accent. Do you mean to tell me my sister is dead? We have reason to believe. Did you kill her? 
No. Tried. Something got there fast. And she looks at you and she goes, Who killed my sister? Her money. Do you want to roll deception? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not seeing anything there. Uh, an interesting call to make. <laughs> he did Zero. try to fight oh away. Oh, but That's maybe a way to kill Havani, I suppose. Here, to be fair. I mean, um. <laughs> <laughs> so her. she looks at you, um, and like her face kind of goes from that kind of stern, kind of cross look to a slightly more kind of disappointed look. Um, very subtle change in the way she kind of carries her cheeks, and she just says, <laughs> <"What's zero?" laughs> "Truth seems to be beyond you." And she turns to you, Lycol, and she says. And she just gestures with her hand over to like X5, <clears throat> but looking straight at you expectantly. Since we seem to be uh, intent on throwing all our cards violently against the table and creating as much mess as possible, let me just lay it out. The uh, first half is correct, and it's not actually as much of a deception as it seems. He simply isn't a very good liar. Hamani was in part responsible, but the entity that killed her and a number of her guard, um, its name, his name? I'm not sure. Its name is Urgalas. And she just looks at you. And she says, That's a Neoxian name. Are you in league uh, with this? You speak its sorry? tongue. We, uh. So she says, Are you in league with this? You speak its tongue. <laughs> I, I was like, uh, uh, No, no. In fact, uh, when you say it's a Neoxian name, you're, you're, you're slightly mistaken. It's. It's a Libri. Subtle difference. <laughs> and then she, um, she kind of like closes her eyes and nods very subtly, and she kind of holds the dip of the nod. It. And then she doesn't says, "Doesn't care for my." And kind. she says, "Elibrians became Eoxians. Their folly, their pride. Forgive my misstep." It did not. For whatever reason, I don't understand its nature, but it is not a fully physical entity, and it did not die as its kind did. I uh, have learned some of their language and culture enough to get by since, but I could not understand its words at the time that I encountered it. It. The full story of what it has done since it re-entered the world, it will take quite some time, and you may not believe it all coming from us, given the foot we have begun on. But suffice to say, it's supremely dangerous, and it's not the only dangerous entity currently making moves. Hamani is also... was but very recently here for an artifact in your sister's collection and probably origi originally an artifact that belonged to you. Of which artifact do you speak? Zig, do you want to fe field this question? I see in common. She looks back down to Zig, who's maybe still kneeling, I assume. Or cross-legged, sorry. Cross-legged, yes. Um, Zig nervously looks at Lyco. Um Oh see quietly, you're the expert little man. <laughs> you're shooting and patronizing. <laughs> you like would it. Uh, <laughs> I think I, I'd uh, turn to the captain and say take it through. Take it. What what do you mean? What? 
ticket egg. To, oh wait, hold on. Oh, I'm they ticket egg. They ticket yeah, for yeah, the, yeah. the, 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 the egg. So, uh, I mean, it's entirely possible the captain wouldn't have got it from that. <laughs> I mean, it's fine, it's fine, right? If we don't like her answers, we can just leave her in there. And run. Holy shit, it's the fucking gobbles. <laughs> I knew it! I knew I shouldn't have moved! I hate Goblins. life! Uh, maybe I'll move myself back a wee bit. Uh, Do I know it's the goblins? No, because they no, don't they're exist. Not really they're right. not there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I honestly thought you were going to make those you know, I can be bullshit like, as well. If you are going to bullshit me, <laughs> I can bullshit you. I would never dream of bullshitting. Good, I'm pleased. Okay, anyway. right. so let's get uh, Those are shall... land horses. <laughs> it's like really hard rolling this with all these bodies. It probably like, is, uh... to be honest, yeah. <laughs> She kind of uh, first puts her hands up to lock the light and then she puts her hand back down. Remember, do I have sensitive eyes? Take that. Fancy lady. Like she's got her eyes very narrow. Um, her silver pupils are like really kind of pinpoints. Just, am I supposed to know what that is? And she like gestures to it. Everybody has a stunned face. I mean, I don't really know what it is, so I mean... <laughs> wow, she really is out of the loop on this. Damn. Uh, I did mention I have been here for quite some time. Zig, can you explain the nature of these eggs? <laughs> Ideally, really quickly. You have more than one of them? They're well, this one just appeared, and I'm not really f sure how they made it happen. Uh, yeah, that might need explained at a later date. Um, but there's there's at least two. Uh, it's so hard to explain. If uh, I wish this wasn't. Uh... Think of think of the antithesis the antithesis of this. She just looks at you blankly. Dragon consumed. We're told this is bad. This is a dragon egg. Huh. I knew it was a something egg. That's a dragon. She holds up I've her hand and she says, No, I'm asking. You implied. She like changes her hand from a stop sign to like a kind of go on more. <laughs> oh. There is one of light and there is one of dark. I don't understand his religious stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and then she looks to the uh, the captain, and she looks back to Yoliko, and she says, she can like motions between Zig and Zora, and she says, "The small one speaks of balance. Something your captain should know about." And she just looks poignantly at you, and your moat. Yeah. <laughs> Nod, I suppose. I mean, she at least knows something, right? Yeah. Drake can be Solarians, right? So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but not. Um, I mean, there were Drow students in that um, massacre, so. See, the problem being is. I don't even think Zora knows anything really about the dragons, does he? Oh, that, that, but these two eggs at all? It's never been explained ever, other than there's a void dragon, and I don't even know what this dragon's called. Like, what, what's the golden egg dragon? <laughs> oh, we, we know it's grace and light. The, the, the. We know it's grace. Is... Grace in the light of the burning uh, mother. The one next but... had the vision of mm -hmm. was the void egg. Right, oh, no, okay, sorry. I'm... <laughs> I know, don't worry, it is complex. And it was the void egg that got gobbled up by Hamani, right? Yes. Right? Like, mm -hmm. Yes, yes, right. Cool. Why don't you just have this in character? Because it feels poignant enough to have it in character. I, uh. Yeah, I, I, I don't really. All we know is. 
kills these two eggs and Himani has gobbled up one of them. What that means, we don't know. And from your context, I assume this Himani is indeed a dragon. I would not. Black dragon. Black dragon. Assumed. <laughs> you can see like a look of almost recognition. Like as if, oh yeah. As if maybe she's heard of a black dragon called Himani. And then she kind of looks at everyone. She, so they just break into this vault with no plan of escape to steal an egg. You're not sure what it does or who it came from. Unfortunately, our ex uh, is a little dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah to uh, expand on that, we were brought in by uh, an agent of. Um, Abadar? Uh, Abad Abadar? Yes, yes, yes. Um, and with the intention of preventing the dragon, Hamani, from consuming the egg. This egg? Or the other egg? The other egg, which he did consume, unfortunately. Uh, to what uh, end? Can it be well, she intoned some vaguely uh, apocalyptic things about what might happen with but uh, I'll be honest we're in far over our head in this regard and have been for quite some time and uh, in the process unfortunately Ancient Furler, S. Kate Furler uh, give her a proper rank was slain by Jestus to the corpse a creature of this sort she looks down at it and she says, That is a shame. It was this agent you speak of. She is the entity that helped me establish my vault. I look around to the rest of the group. How deep involved in all of this is Furler? I thought she was just... <sighs> An agent. Uh, Escade's a rank, right? There are how many of them? I only ever dealt with the one. Isabel, I believe her name was. The very same. She is an agent for her god. Hmm. I think perhaps she's understated her importance in all of this, and unfortunately that leaves us all the more lost. The Drake Queen has a look as if to say, like, I am also lost. <laughs> uh, now that she is, uh... Then how about this? Deceased. What exactly is it you plan on doing with the Drow? When she, if we were to hypothetically let you out of here? She smiles again. And she says, rule them. And the rest of the packed world? She kind of like, looks at you confusedly. Like, Did my sister conquer all the packed worlds? Are you seeing the drill arms stretch so far? Not quite, but they're definitely messing with the current state of the Pact Worlds. And what is the current state of the Pact Worlds? Turbulent. <sighs> Messy. <laughs> Non-existent. <laughs> <laughs> says, what, which planets fall within the Pact? <sighs> How long have you been in here? And she kind of looks at you, and she looks back at the tree. She says, if I counted correctly, somewhere near five centuries. I'll go over the art world, Katie. Yeah, right. I honestly don't remember the timeline. <laughs> Shit. Um. About so many hundreds of years ago, like maybe 300. 
right? Yeah, I thought it was more recent than that. Yeah. So should just a little bit of that, don't we, sir? Let's just say your solar system is a little bit more... Hey. ...joined. Do you Again. know... Uh, apologies, Captain, to phrase this so rudely, but... Do you know what he is? And I point at the Captain. <laughs> That's right, she won the world. <laughs> she kind of just looks and she goes, Yes, some distant cousin of this thing. And she looks down at the, um... half I would snort. I would snort and snigger. Ah, uh, yeah, you, you've missed that. My people have um... conquered more than what these pesky little things. <laughs> <laughs> Power trip. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you know who I am? <laughs> like the, space uh, celebrity. the solar system. You finally met someone that doesn't know who you are. More or less united in opposition oh, to an imperium called the Viscarium. Ah. Uh, and you are of this Viscarium. Captain is a Visk. And she like gestures to the captain. And she's like, you are of this Viscarium? I would nod. And she says to we... you, like, what are your plans for this solar system? Is a more pressing concern than what I do with my people? Stigger and say we have our own solar system to worry about at the moment. It's like, sort of boastfully. Like, like, like. <laughs> <laughs> Posing aside, there there was a war, and then a stalemate was reached due to a third party um, swarm. It does seem like I have missed a lot. The makeup of what we would refer to as the Pact Worlds has changed considerably. Uh, even in recent years, the Bone Sages fled Eox. Absalom Station. Did they even exist then? Or is it a more recent founding? I think Absalom's pre pack Worlds, right? It only became the centre of the pack Worlds? Or... So it's pre I'm sure there was something it's there It's pre-packed, but it's yeah. post-gap, right? Yeah, so it's it's newer, but it probably would be around when she was. Not necessarily. You'd maybe need to roll some kind of history to know that answer. Yeah, I think. I roll culture. Yeah, for that. go for it. Yeah, Absalom wasn't around 500 years ago, but the problem is nobody really knows what was around 500 years ago because it was. 500 years ago was during the gap. Right. And because she's been in isolation here, she might not even know there is a gap. Right. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> hmm. Right? Are you familiar <laughs> with Absalom? And she looks at you. And she says, I believe I heard tales from my scouts of an island known as Absalom. Oh yeah. This is uh this is even weirder than I anticipated. It until recently formed uh probably the cultural and economic at least possibly the political too part of this solar system. Um until recently because because it was assaulted by the entity Urgalas. Yes, Elibrian you spoke of earlier, yes. Indeed. And she says, and what of Galerian? Any news from Galerian? Don't think with, we with your to. cultural check, that is the planet that used to be where Absalom is. Oh shit, yeah, it was, it was Pathfinder, right? Yeah. And I know that. You know like that the culture that. that there was a planet? No, it doesn't know it's, it doesn't know it's Pathfinder. Ah. Uh, this may sound somewhat ridiculous, and I apologize. I am aware of there having been a Galarian, but 
there has not been in some time, and no one quite recalls when it disappeared or how. She just looks at you like completely shocked. Like, what? If you speak the truth, is there remnants of the planet? Was it destroyed like the Eoxians? Or. And she kind of like. She's almost lost for words. Like, it looks like you've kind of deeply wounded her. And that kind of <sighs> Jedi feeling the death of other Jedi's vibe. Um, Only it's news breaking, you know. Now, the thingy, the what's it called? The gap. Or Starstone. Yeah. There, uh, there was an item. I'm assuming I would know roughly what it is, although not specifically. Like, probably couldn't tell you anything about it other than it was the star stone it was from. Yeah, Gallery. like I mean, MD with one of those really easily bought compasses, right? Probably knows yeah. enough that there is something called. That, 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 you know, I'd know what that's what it's pointing to. Yeah. Um, if not, and it's kind of what it, seemed you know. to power the station. There was a uh, at the core of the station. There was a uh, an artifact of enormous power from. Galarian, known as the Starstone. It appeared to be the target and was taken by Urgalas. And she kind of just, again, she kind of looks like she's kind of half listening and she says, There was a great city called Absalom on an isle of Kortos. And within this in the centre of this, there was the Starstone Cathedral. This housed the artifact I am aware of as the Starstone. Do you remember... everything? She looks at you as if she doesn't understand the question, and she says, that would be difficult to answer without more time. She puts her hand on the field again. Is that leading? I... No, I'm fairly confident listening to you speak that you do. You really do remember it all. This is... The implications of this are quite staggering. I apologize. So much information, so much knowledge has been lost. You are forgiven. And you gave your full name, right? Lyco Quint? I did. Yeah, so she'll say you are forgiven, Lyco Quint. The knowledge that you have would be... I mean, <laughs> if the universe universe, the solar system weren't already so incredibly unstable, I would say the re-entry of you to the world would be enough to tilt it off its axis. It's... Civilizations collapsed. Whole species and races came into being that have no idea how they came to be. My kind do not know how or why we exist. You may have noticed I am not what you would describe as an ordinary human being. And she kind of tilts her head and she says, I believe that's meant complimentarily. Or like, whatever the... <laughs> meant with kindness, I think is what she would say. I believe that is meant with kindness. I would, uh... Like to think so. <laughs> My kind not always exists as far as we know. Something happened during the lost stretch of time known as the Gap. How long the Gap is, no one knows. It doesn't seem to have been consistent across the universe, but it seems to have happened everywhere, more or less. Perhaps that's why my people forgot about me. Captain... <laughs> Regardless of our personal benefit from this, I think with the events being what they are, I I don't think we can risk just leaving her here. 
would sigh. So just don't make us regret it. <laughs> and then she looks at you when you say that, and she says, I believe if there was anything regrettable, it would be instigated by you first. And she looks back down at the um, half corpse. As I said, she's still leaning on the field inside. She's implying that I'm a mindless dragon kid. <laughs> no, I think she's just saying that, you know, don't do anything too hasty like this guy did. Uh, yeah. You know, because. Oh, he's trying fine. to touch a few. Right, that's how he's died, right? That makes sense. Makes, all makes sense, though. Yeah. Him being burnt and half of his corpse lying at the field. Yeah. Yep. All toasted up. How big is his axe? <laughs> How big that. is that axe? We'll talk uh, about it. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, so, how did we get you? And she kind of looks kind of slightly confused, and she says, Forgive me if I don't quite follow your inner steps. She kind of taps the side of her head. And then she says, uh, to like, in a sweeping statement where she starts by looking at Zora and then kind of swings round to end up looking at Zig by looking at everyone. And she says, and what if you release me? Is the cost of this besides escape from the vault? Or is that enough to say to you, vault hunters? Perhaps get your people in order. <laughs> Be a good start. You wish to tell me how to rule? Ah, you seek your sister could have used the lesson. So you seek to be my king? It's <laughs> an invitation. <laughs> she doesn't sound like she's inviting you. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, I'll ask her about that she... invitation. <laughs> Charisma check. I'll make her one. <laughs> no, like, so you say, is that an invitation? And her reply is, so you think I require schooling in how to be a queen? You seek to control me if you release me from here. I would sigh. And she looks back just... to, like, as you're kind of like sighing, she looks back to Lyco and she says, Are you all under his control? Control? He seeks to be my king. She kind of waits <laughs> back. That was a laugh, holy shit. <laughs> I suspect. There is an issue of a language barrier. <laughs> she she lets out a laugh, like a very short laugh, and then she just like runs her hands over the field, and she says, "Yes, a language barrier." Ha! Uh, I get it. Cause it's a barrier. Ah! Uh. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> 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 no, Nico is now lost in the thought of going, I could be a king. <laughs> I'd actually get a big character because I mean, that would just be like Zora trying to understand mm. this world's like humour. It's like, yeah. ha, because there's a barrier. <laughs> Your words have the two meanings. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you stupid patch borders. Yes, um... I love how that term has no meaning on her though. <laughs> yeah. She's not a packed worlder. If we were to assist you in, 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 in leaving here, I don't imagine any of us would have any pretensions of being able to instruct a monarch. We, uh... Obviously would prefer if events returned more to a normal state. But... I might not know what normal is for you. No, that's... that's true. You can see she's looking you over as well with that. Maybe there's more to that statement. We, uh... Oh, shit, it's instructing. <laughs> what do we need? I'm trying to think what, what specifically would like we need that she might have. Information on the Barai. Instruction. <laughs> <laughs> <You> <laughs> <can't>. <laughs> Genuinely. 
you don't put this way, right? You don't need to ask her for anything, right? It's she's just suspicious of people that broke into a vault. Yeah, I understandably, but I um. And, and, you, and you, you've said that, you've came to was... steal an egg, but you're happy to leave with the other egg that you never came for. Like it's all very I confusing know. for her. And you've told her I, that uh... like the, the pact worlds are a thing now. The Vesk are also a thing. The swarm are a thing. There's all new information. She's a bit overloaded, right? And at least the, the, the rat's been quiet, that, uh... so. I kind of was what I was getting at when I just asked her to get up before an order. I don't want her to do anything other than. Yeah, but obviously she, she might go and not be a fan. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I I will though I will ask if if you recall the time before I perhaps it's uh too much to hope for but do you know anything about my kind? And she just looks at you and she says. You mean humans, and you can tell there's again more to that sentence. Like she's saying it in a way that she's not really sure you're saying it. I mean to say, what are known as the Barai, a form of. And he sort of like lick, licks his lips in a sort of like, not in a mmm delicious, but that sort of like a Clarice. almost like preparing to speak kind of way. Yeah, the... Uh, undead creature. Her lip curls at the, like the side of her mouth very briefly. She kind of dismisses it. Says, the undead aren't quite so eloquent with words. She really doesn't think I'm undead, does she? I mean, she's maybe saying you're not the undead she is familiar with, right? Yeah. She just thinks I'm a dragon. Yeah, you look like you're a big lizard, right? She'd not seen the Vesk before, so... I, uh... It was that or she called you like a giant, um, <laughs> kobold or something, do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> that makes me bad. Fair, it's the same difference. Um, yeah. I... I had hope, but... And she kind of like looks, kind of, back at, like, the space within the dome. And then she kind of looks back at the group. She smiles back at Yuzig, um, again, just briefly. <laughs> and then she says, and she's kind of like staring at Zig while she asks this. And her face is very kind of like emotionless at this point. The price for freedom, then, we can discuss anything is wish to once we are outside the vault. And she then looks back up at you, Lyco, directly, because it seems to be you the one that she's negotiating with now. If your if your king is going to allow you the final say on this, what is the cost of my freedom? I cringe ever so slightly at that. Yeah. <laughs> and she's saying it deliberately that way, do you know what I mean? Like, so they are, to be honest. Like, Captain? Cap. Did she say that in Drow, sorry? Or? No, she's, she spoke so everybody can hear her. Oh, okay. Yeah. Captain? I would eye roll the, the scream. king part. The scream. The oh. scream. <laughs> the scream. scream loudly. And I would nod. It's a Wilhelm scream, if you want to know. You know, the, the, the acknowledging nod. His crown tilts slightly. <laughs> I will fix it. <laughs> then... What can we do to get you out of this prison? And then she says... So the cost, you must state it first, so we can have an arrangement, an accord, if you will. She kind of like leans with her hands pressed against the, the field. Name your price, or am ah. I free to go? Merely How about, your How about your assistance in cleaning up your sister's mess a little bit and help us out with Hamani. You ever wanted to slay a dragon? 
I've always wanted to slay a dragon. Clan narrows her eyes. She says, So you wish to know my desires, do you? Uh. Well, if we're going to get married one day, it might be a good idea to oh start that. <laughs> <laughs> like, do you follow that by laughing? Uh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I just kind of say that with a straight face. <laughs> and really. <laughs> right, so you're kind of saying that to her, and she says, and she kind of looks back to um, Lycle, and she says, These Viscarium do not understand the subtleties of negotiation, I see. No, no, he's pretty much literally the only one that even tries. <laughs> he's not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and then... She says to you directly, Zora, she says, My hand is not available for marriage. I would say sarcastically. Because I'm just messing with her. Yeah, like, <laughs> like, you can tell that, like, you can tell she kind of gets that, but there's almost a weird formality to this. That she seems to need, right? Like the situation that she almost needs used to like state it for her. That's the weird vibe that you are getting. Maybe Zora isn't picking this up. I am, um, but like Lyco probably is, given yeah. how many times he's probably been involved in this. Just you know. quickly, out of character, um, can I suggest that we can't go back to verses, right? Because we were told not to. I'll find a way to sneak back, but. And that's where your we need is. to find somewhere we went to go. We want to go. Yeah, that's true. But another hand, Alice will find you, it. right? Alice is on the Fuck ship alone. Get out of. Yeah, <laughs> let's hope. <laughs> uh, we were kind of told to fuck off, and they kind of accepted it. Mm -hmm. So should we go somewhere other than Verses? Should we ask her for safe passage to whatever world suits? Um, could. Yeah, because like it'd be so shit if you'd asked her to, like, let's say you've got her out and she somehow managed to get you back. Imagine she took you to, like, where she thought she was living, like in Galarian, and you just ended up dying in space. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be terrible. Probably glad you brought that up. But yeah, so, yeah, do you want to answer that quite quickly then as a group, and we'll move back to the conclusion? Um. Been I'm not that sure where else we would go. Where, 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 where was that other place actually? Where was the fallback plan? Always like uh, Alex. Is that, that, Alex that was um, like that was where Ulta was from. I should say like her character is Emily. Akatonia. Akatonia was um, a. Akaton. Akaton. Akaton is the kind of red deserty like backwater place. The Tatooine of the system. May not be a bad place to fall back to. Could get like a. Uh, uh, a shuttle to the ship, or went some way to communicate to Alice to get the ship to us, right? Probably. Mm -hmm. Right? For Akaton? Probably. That's, that's, I mean, Space mail is a thing, right? Mm -hmm. I mean... Plan B? So... Because that was Plan B when yeah, we so were going absolutely mystical. Yeah, if you say Plan B <laughs> when he asks that, I think everybody should know what that means, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Plan B Which was before is. he got stolen by Sindale off the ship. When yeah. he's, it was like, Plan B, ever cool. Vip, by Lyco. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, we would require safe passage to Ekaton. And she kind of like looks at you, and like you can clearly see she's thinking. She says, Safe passage from here to Ekaton is agreeable. Is it agreeable with all of you? I nod. 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 Paul. Oh. Aye. And then, um. God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've got to get the grip nod. <laughs> I've got to be so happy. She, um. Like, takes her hand off the field and she says, As you said, trust. And she kind of nods at you, Lyco. And then she just like throws her hand kind of absent mindedly in the air and the field vanishes. 
raise eyebrows. Of course. <laughs> and she looks at you all and she says, Burn the tree. And we end it there. <laughs> but, well, then. Uh, well, that's an interesting note to leave on. <laughs> mm. um, Guys, I'm going to bail right now because uh, I really have to go. I'm glad yeah. that we ends the session though. Indeed. Thank you for running. Thank you for playing. Thank me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You're thanked. And, uh, Thanks for playing. Fuck all you who is getting grip. Bye! So, wow. do you have any session titles in mind? But sincerely, thanks for writing. No, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> session title. Yeah, right. Um, uh, on guard. <laughs> um, <laughs> you're going to need to do the shoving. <laughs> oh, yeah, <I> <laughs> um, that's it, that's all I've got. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't even know where you want to start with that, because that was that was that was a lot. Yeah, right, Mister Graduation Mark Two. Um, uh, graduation <laughs> week. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed your um, flashback. Maybe that's a good one. Flashback is a good one because of kind of like because she's a pure flashback as well. Right, like, yeah. Like, Yeah, I think flashbacks are a good one because it does I like cover that. the memory. Um, blast from the past, a bit. Blast so from the past. That was a bit. Yes, no, blast <laughs> from the past. Yes. Yeah. Actually, do you know? Just... Mind the gap. I just feel like that's a really good one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 dry lady, mind the gap. No. Okay. <laughs> um. Up to you guys. Mind the gap, flashback, or anything else that you have suggested so far? Uh, I'm good with either. All three. What is your favorite? Of the. Um, hmm. Hmm. Mm. Next, any preference? Um. Quite a flashback, to be honest. Uh, if I there's anything else. Zig. Preference. Uh, I like flashback. I like blast the blast from the past. It's <laughs> it it just it rolls really well. <laughs> you all rolled pretty well this session as well, up and down. I love the zero bluff check. Quite frankly, it was by far the most is <laughs> terrible. But for you maybe, yeah. yeah. You're, not, you're not good at those. Um, uh, let's go with flashback then, right? I think that's what we're going to go for for this session. Um, that's a good one. Oh. For it. I don't even know if I am. Like, what is people's low saves? Like, we'll, we'll discuss that later on. Yeah, I was going to uh, say, that can be another that, conversation. That, 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 <laughs> um, I'm looking over the uh, goals, and I think the only one I need to talk about is Ziggs, right? Hi. Because I know that you haven't escaped the Vault Zora, and I know that you haven't reclaimed the corpse yet, Nix, so I don't think you talk about it. Yep. Oh. And Lyco might think he's found a way to kill Hamani. We'll find out. <laughs> we'll point a second drow queen at him. <laughs> 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 Only we'll liquidise this one and poison her. <laughs> oh, fantastic. As was discussed earlier in the the session, jokingly, this I laughed at This is a more directed. Yeah. This is a more directed drow queen this time, right? I mean, the drow queen, the other one was just going, oh, I have the egg. <laughs> Ooh, oh, shit, it's a Libran. Why did I ever RP her when you could have... <laughs> <laughs> um, Zig, talk me through your goal. Uh, discover my connection with the vault. Talk me through it. Well, <laughs> uh, a lot happened this session. Mm -hmm. A lot. Um, do you know what I? I ah, uh, uh, I really loved. I I, I just loved going back in time. And like mainly being like a direct influence on the events that happened in the past. So that watching the the Radiant Supreme dying and being like, Oh no, the Radiant Supreme died. Oh, he's back to life. How the fuck did that happen? It was you mm -hmm. Ah How good is that? Oh. I was gonna try and hold off until closer to the nineteenth or twenty first of December for the whole year anniversary thing, but it didn't quite work that way. 
Ah, uh, yeah. So but no, happy anniversary. It was, it was... Early. Aww. Aww. <laughs> it was. It was. Uh, uh. Um, so do you feel you've discovered your connection? I with feel the like I feel like it, well, whether or not that is actually Zig's connection with the vault. <laughs> Um, I feel like Zig definitely feels that's his sort of that he had to be there in the vault at that time to in order to go back and yeah enable the events yeah to weirdly deny the drug queen getting the egg yeah um, which means bizarre. she doesn't have the egg does Urgalas ever kill her? Hmm. Yeah. Um, but, so, you know, regardless of whether or not um, in the real world that is his connection with the vault, type Zig feels that's what his connection with the vault is. Okay, yeah. You can move it into the completed list. Which means, these are level 8. Yes! Oh god. <laughs> yes! Yep. <coughs> there we go. Zig finally completed the goal. It's a moment of anticipation. Um, many. Many sessions since we started this. Many, many sessions. Yeah, I, I don't even know. remember what session we started the goal system on. It was before now. Um, but yeah, so that's at least a thing that's been done. It's definitely um, a thing. You've also kind of given us your session feedback. Anything else you want to add? Um, it was a lot of fun getting to see you decide if you were going to heal him or not, because it's not exactly something I could just tell you to do. So it was yeah, nice that I you was, did that. I was, <laughs> I was in two minds because like, at, at that point I was like, right, well... Uh, my immediate thoughts were, okay... As as I you know teleconnect the projectile the, the the hard hat through Zig, it bounced off the egg. And I was like, oh wait, hold on, the egg is a tangible thing in this mm -hmm. non tangible environment. So I was like, ah, oh, do I just go and like try and like grab the egg and see what happens, or? Do I try and create this narrative that I really like in my head of being the reason the Radiant Supreme comes mm. back? <laughs> Just kind of awesome. Um, which is, which is, yeah, I, I really enjoyed that. I'm glad you did that because it has more implications if you hadn't put it that way. Yeah. Because then he wouldn't have been healed. Yeah, and then fuck knows how he got back. <laughs> and he wouldn't have. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. No. Hmm. Yeah. Right. That's, that's, hmm. No, I'm not sure how I feel about this. Yeah. Right. Ah. Yup. <laughs> uh, so, moving on. Zora. <laughs> I also enjoyed the flashbacky stuff. Uh, we, we sank, I did, I did like, a tired. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a good tired. Uh, very, very well done. Uh, queen, ex queen, queen to be's interest. Yeah, new queen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, queen to be. Uh, yeah, <laughs> to be or not to be. Stop proposing to me. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. I enjoyed that. Uh, um, I like messing with royalty, man. If you stuck, you're stuck with it, you could have been a king. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. It's good. Um, and your goal might be eventually completed. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully. Have a next uh, session, depending on if you just kill her there and then, maybe. Who knows? I did quite like the. the I've, I've we learnt enough monsters in the universe yet. Uh, uh, whatever it was, I say, so we know that enough, you know, what monsters are in the universe. I was like, this is us again. Yep. What I liked, though, <laughs> well, is, I liked well, the fact that even she was like, this is the wise one of you. <laughs> then you spoke more to her, and she kind of changed her mind. Yes, I hate <laughs> this guy. <laughs> um, yeah, I think we'll get your goal. She's racist. 
She's not. Discus. How dare you? She, she can't be racist Discus. against a race she's, she doesn't know. It's copy a dragon, right? <laughs> a dragon. Superior. I've got my AIDS system. <laughs> <laughs> The Vesk system is the Vesk of the best, everyone else is inferior, it's one circle, the Vesk are inside the circle, everybody's outside the circle. <laughs> Very similar situation to what that new queen was in. In a bubble, outside the bubble, bubble. Um, okay. So Ether- my bubble's bigger. Oh, bigger. <laughs> Ethos, you want to add? No, I am <laughs> Thank you. Ethos, I think you seem to have enjoyed yourself, so that was good. <laughs> um, right, Nyx. Next five. Yes. Yes. Uh, I think most of the same points have been said in terms of uh, it's kind of really good to get that involvement in each other's backstories. Yeah, I can't uh, promise I'm going to be good at keeping track of all that, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's like when I said Hermione, and it's like I was only like half deceptive and half failing to remember exactly what happened. Mm-hmm. That's okay. Um, it still works. But it works out. I mean, yeah. given my general feelings towards Hermione at the moment. Mm-hmm. Um, and not understanding what the hell the other thing is. But keep in mind as well, like your characters don't necessarily have perfect memories either, right? I know yeah. I'm speaking to like an android, right? Which is questionable. But <coughs> the you could be misremembering it through anger and wanting it to be Hamani so you have more reason, right? Yeah. I just had the image in my head of him drinking it. Yeah, right. Um but that does yeah. imply that there was a way to rescue her at that point, which is interesting as well, based on like what Nyx believes science can achieve, which is kind of cool. Yep. Um, slash magic. Um, that was good. Um, but no, yeah, it was just nice to kind of, yeah, kind of get involved in Zig's graduation. And, yeah. Uh, like. Yeah, kind of bring all the threads together in a way. It's almost like we're trying to remove the fragmentation of the story. <laughs> yeah. Strange that. Um, I'm gonna go have a. Small hyperbolized mental breakdown to myself about this plot and right next week's session. Um, yeah, guys, that was a lot of fun. Um, obviously, Colin shut off, but we know he did talk for another half an hour about oh God, yeah. what he loves <laughs> and doesn't love, and in, in, in which he'd probably have complimented all of us. So, thank you, Colin. Um, <laughs> and also, you're welcome. And yeah, thanks for playing, guys. Thank you. Uh, yeah, thanks for running. And goodbye. So, bye. Goodbye.